Ah. Uh. What's going on, guys? It's your boy, Brandon, from Audio Addiction. We have Therese again with us. Unfortunately, we were trying to recruit Alex, but... You know your boy is you, your boy's in hibernation, so I feel like he, you know, he he will be in chat though. So big salutes to our guy. But I feel like this is a good balance of scales because you started with a lot of videos with him alone, and then brought me in, and now I got my time with you. There you so go. You have equal amounts of uh, influence. <laughs> friend, yeah, friend. We have equal amounts of friendship, even though I've known Alex for God, I don't even know how many years now at this point, and I've lost track, but. And, so, and we met this year <laughs> and we met this year so Teresa and i are on a fast track baby let's go yeah uh, but Best we are friend. here for got seven part three if you miss the first two well you're in luck because they're posted on the youtube channel so go check them out but not now unless you you know you want to pa pause this and then go watch one and two real fast you know it's only going to take you a, a nice clean like six hours <laughs> to get through both <laughs> part one and two but hey respect respect but, uh, but this is hands down my favorite portion of the ooh. parts. So I, well, okay. actually, we did solos. I like their solos a lot. But no, I still think this is my favorite portion of the Got7 parts. So get into it. All right. We're going to uh, have a lot of fun. Logan says the Jin Young supremacy just saying. So, all right. Well, we're going to find out. I, we're going to find out. We're going to be cooking tonight. But I'm excited. <laughs> I've been, Therese has been hyping it up in our chat. She's been like, bro, you're not ready for part. You're not ready. You're not ready for this. So no. let's, let's go. Um, so very cool. Uh, Trillo 90 says, hi, just finished both your videos today. Oh my God. I said it. I spoke it. Into it a speed run. <laughs> uh, cra <laughs> crazy Augusty here. <laughs> Oh. Awesome. Well, thank you for thank you for I I don't expect anybody to do that, but I, I appreciate the dedication. Um, to be honest, like I didn't expect anyone to check out Got Seven. I mean, I expected the hardcore fans like you hardcore, guys too, the homies. But yeah. this was this was very much like I know no one's talking about them right now, but I want to talk about it. <laughs> you want to? Yeah, you wanted to. This is you know. Would you consider Got Seven your favorite? One of your favorite children? I didn't for a while. I okay. um, BTS was always the top for me because they were the ones that got me to listen to more sure, and get into sure, the sure. community more. Um, but uh, I did, like, when I got into them and then when they announced um, that they were leaving their company, I got so scared. And I was, like, in a funk for a good week. And I was like, I think I like them way more than I thought I did. <laughs> So and, yeah, I after that I was like I gotta I gotta hold on to these boys. <laughs> oh, there you go. Well, I I also consider myself as as well on this. So uh, I'm I'm a God Seven stand now. I love I love their stuff. So I I went They're back. Easy to like. I went back and listened to some old stuff. I rewatched kind of like bits and pieces of this part one, part two. So you know, nice. just got a little get a little refresher here, but. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. I don't know what we're talking about today in terms of obviously it's the newer stuff. So, you know, I'm excited yeah, to hear where we're at. This is the newer stuff. Um, it's not the newest stuff, but well, it is in terms of uh, the full seven member group. But um, this is the more modern of that seven member group. It's also their end of working with JYP and their beginning of starting their own Oh. group in a way so i'll get more into the breakdown when we get to encore because that is on our list today um we also have <laughs> your if i was just gonna <laughs> oh no it is <laughs> yeah oh, it always does this <laughs> oh no oh no <laughs> one second <Yeah. laughs> um i'll read uh. trillo's comment uh they said uh, i'm here to give all the info you need god seven is my alt uh group for six years so very cool well, thank you, Trillo. Much appreciated. You're you're look you're looking fine now, Therese. Yeah, I I don't know why that happens <laughs> sometimes. I guess it's a bad cable or something. Oh no. Well. Um, but yeah, I was gonna go through the playlist we have today. Woo. Okay. Okay. Which is okay. right at the top of my playlist. Um, I am going to get into. I showed you uh, JJ Projects bounce, but off you did. camera. You because did, I yeah. said I wanted to keep that reaction all to myself, so you, you guys will never get to see it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. Um, but it wasn't bad. It was actually you were very uh, excited about was, getting into the group as a whole. I was feeling it. I was feeling it. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, so today I'm going to show you their second comeback, which was uh, six years ago. But um, they cool. they continued after bounce. If you were curious, <laughs> um, <laughs> I, kind I don't of know if they'll Buzz continue. Much, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if they'll continue after this, but that's fair. We never know. Um, and then we also have Lullaby Miracle, Ooh. which is a mm -hmm. Christmas song in the Christmas mood. Um, Eclipse. Uh, we have another unit called Just Two. Um, you Calling My Name, Not By The Moon, Breath, Last Piece, Encore, and Na Na Na. So that's 11 videos. Woo! We're going to get through them. It'll be Let's a great go. time. Let's go. Uh, Shay says, just woke up. It's the best thing to start a day with JJP. Holy shit. That's crazy. So very it cool. I, I I respect. I I fuck with the vision, you know, so very cool. Uh, Trillo says, bounce is fire tomorrow, today, and the whole album is my all-time favorite. Very cool. Ooh, that's so nice. Good to hear. Wow. You got, got a lot. Of, we're, getting, we're getting a lot of GOT7 stands here, so I, I appreciate that because – Lord Perfect. knows I need help. Uh, so and same as much as I love them, I can't know everything about every K-pop group. So I always appreciate the corrections and comments. Yes. Also, Logan, shout out to Logan. Logan's given us some good, some good wisdom here. Even though he yeah. called us old in a previous video, I'm gonna. No, he I'll did not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, Logan. Um, um, anyway, we'll get into the first song. This is JJ Project tomorrow today. So. Let's give it a listen. Mm -hmm.
This was good. I'm I'm feeling it. Oh, it looks yeah. like we have a little bit left. Is there like okay? Is there gonna be like some lore, <laughs> some storyline? Uh, the gonna... lore is they're they're hanging out and uh, oh, okay. they're really attractive and that's important <laughs> to to the story. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I had a feeling you were oh. going to say that, Therese. <laughs> Look. <laughs> oh, my God. They're like, hey, did you, read that book? did you read that book? I just, I got to state the obvious. I They're like, look, oh, uh, look at this part. You know, this I held sick. that book. <laughs> oh, they was like, yeah, okay, yeah, we'll yeah, swap. That, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, elephant in the room. Everyone in God 7 is so hot. Goddamn. Uh, but also so talented and amazing uh, songwriters, producers, uh, performers, vocalists. This is one of my favorite Got Seven songs by far. <laughs> I gotta say, I also I also loved it as a lot a lot too. It's got that real kind of like uh, melancholic, like uh, like pop rock sort of sound, which I was kind of surprised about. I didn't think mm. it was gonna. I didn't think it. I didn't think it was gonna kind of go in that direction. But I really appreciate the vocals a lot. Just was really warm like it, it felt yes. it felt super inviting you know what I mean like it yeah. was super nice I also I don't know if anybody knows where this music video was shot but I need to visit there because it, I would also the, love to know the views <laughs> the 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 scenery the way they should like compose the music video was shot really beautifully so if anybody knows where it was shot at um that would be amazing but uh yeah, I I enjoy this a lot. A lot. I think I if the rest of the album sounds like that, I will be definitely giving that a listen because that yeah, is some another that is some prime. Another stuff right one there. of my favorite um, songs on this album is uh, Icarus, and okay. it, it's just great vocals and some great sounds. And I think even though they're a duo in this unit, they fill the space immensely with their layered oh, vocals sure. behind. Like oh, yeah. it's just the two of them. But then like the background that they record with it adds even more color to like Jin Young's super brassy, like uh, more warm tones. And then uh, JB's like more cooler or crisp mm -hmm. voice. It, it's such a good juxtaposition. Like I JYP think the knew what he was doing. The, contra them together. <laughs> the contrast is, is yeah. great. I think that's kind of what sold me a lot on it was like, they do have like a similar sort of style they they have a similar way of going about melodies but the way that their vocal tones are uh are completely different so i think it's the way that they kind of mesh together where because the melodies work well with both of them but because they sound different like they have this sort of a contrasting sort of vibe to them so i love the fact that the the song was kind of arranged super well um and i imagine again the rest of the album is super well arranged in that aspect to kind of like play off that duality of um jin young and as well as jb so i love that yeah. i think this is great I'll, I'll definitely be giving this one another listen again because and, and of course the rest of the they're they're all over the writing credits um mm -hmm. i'll say it again for people that might not have checked out part one or part two um, JB also goes under the songwriting name Deaf Soul or Deaf. So um, okay. if you see that on the credits, that's him. Uh, so, And I think JYP was on this track as well. They did a really good Ooh. job with this one. Um, yeah. All right. Well, we'll get into ah, some comments. So that was, yeah. <laughs> Shay says uh, JYP, uh, JJP, sorry, excuse me, uh, will still continue as JB said. Uh, hope we can get a comeback after they get discharged from the military. Uh, Alex says, uh, I know one GOT7 song. I'm here for the ride. Kim, hello. Welcome back. I'm curious which GOT7 song, yeah, Alex. You gotta, I'm you gotta tell me. Let us know. Is it just uh, right? It better be just right. <laughs> uh, Trillo says, uh, JB, my man, looking amazing with that hairstyle. Uh, Shay says, uh, Ugh, that was so good. Also, the lyrics. I agree. The lyrics are really great on this song, too. So I was really trying to pay attention to that. Um, so that was great. Uh, JDP are book lovers, so they also composed this song and all the songs in their albums. Uh, it was a shot in Japan, IDK, the exact spot. Um, by the way, JB and Jin Young actually won this contest JYP holds every year back in 2009. 
where they're the first one to share the first spot. Uh, they've been together since Got Seven <laughs> parents. Um, <laughs> and then Trillo says, uh, I think Coming Home is my favorite off the album. And then Alex said Hard mm-hmm. Carry was the only one he knew. <laughs> Okay, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. <laughs> I also thought it was funny. Shout outs to whoever made the comment about me not knowing what hard carry was, even though that was clearly <laughs> a joke. I knew exactly what hard carry is. Just look at me. I am a nerd. So I know what hard carry is. I feel like I don't have to speak it into existence, but I'm speaking into existence. So there we go. Well, uh, we're moving on to the Got Seven stuff. We took a little bit of, I guess. I mean, is J- JJP is not like re- really a detour though? I don't feel. Ah, uh, no. I they I think they they do stuff while they're doing group stuff. It's that's not all the it's same. It's a rest area, like, you know. It's like we're getting yeah. on the highway, we're in the rest stop. It's kind of like know? oh, we just got from Stray Kids, right? Where we had all those unit things that they just released for fun. It's yeah, yeah. Kind of like that. <laughs> yeah, it's good. yeah, just something like that. There you go. <laughs> Um, well, we're moving on to the next one. This is Got Seven Lullaby. Do I have, need to know any prior knowledge to this, Therese? This is another good song. <laughs> is it, okay. <laughs> one with the words. All right, let's get yep. into Got Seven Lullaby then. Probably. Are you ready? <laughs> yeah. Josh. Ooh, okay. Switched it up. All right. This like slap bass is tight. This is great. 
What the hell? <laughs> why did we take why did we take so long to do part three of God? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I this is good. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna not do what I typically do in these videos, which is say this is my favorite song from God Seven. But I really enjoy this one. This is your favorite song. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna say it. No, no, no. I'm gonna <laughs> hold my reservation as I did in the uh, last video. And I'm gonna say this is a mm -hmm. very good song, and <laughs> this may be amongst my top and your top songs. three. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just saying. Yeah. Well, just putting it out there. I yeah. totally understand. I have a confession to make. Oh, oh no, oh no, I Therese. listen. I listen to this song so much, but I listen to the Spanish version. <laughs> oh, this is what you were telling me. Oh my God. I listen to the Spanish version more than the Korean version. What? And when it started, I didn't recognize it. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, wait, this isn't, wait, wait, this is different. Oh my god. I gotta I give can't. you so much credit for actually spilling the beans on that. I would have taken that shit to my grave, I'm sure. <laughs> no, I they're they their Spanish version of this song is so good. Granted, I'm not a native Spanish speaker. I'm not even like a first level Spanish speaker. I don't I live in Florida, uh -uh. I don't know a lick of Spanish. I'm useless. But I You're not useless. I love I no, but I love the uh the the way each word flows into each other with oh, okay. the romance okay, language, okay. Yeah, it yeah, just, yeah. and it, it definitely sounded different with the Korean, but I think it, it doesn't take away from it at all. I think this was meant to be a very bouncy song. You can hear it with like all of the instrumentation in the background. It's, it, it's so many melodies happening. And I love that because it's like a ball pit basically. <laughs> I enjoyed this one. Oh, Trillo's with me. Trillo's with me. <laughs> I did see that. I am not verified. As soon as, as soon as I saw that, as soon as I saw that in the, the chat, I started to chuckle a yep. little. Yep, okay, so. okay, okay, okay. Okay, so I'm you're... you're... Es Mexico. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Listen, we have comments about our normal shit, Therese. I don't need comments about people trying to, you know, grammatically correct you on your Spanish or your pronunciation. You know, we did say music like... is a universal language. <laughs> okay, whatever. I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you have that. Uh... I'll let you cook. Um, the song itself, I loved. I again, I talked about it already, but that slap bass is so good. Uh, and I think it just. I am just a sucker for a good slap bass song, and I feel like this one is one that just kind of evokes that sort of like great bass work. So whoever is doing a lot of the bass work in K-pop music, you, I mean, God, you guys deserve an award because some of that shit is so good. <laughs> um, it kind of, and I hope this isn't taken as a diss, but it kind of gives me a little bit of uh, like, I don't know, it's some like I feel like it would be a song I would hear on like a JoJo's Bizarre Adventure kind of like. Oh, like thing, that's like, a compliment to me. Oh, okay. I was just, I, I don't know. I feel like that's kind of like, that's, cool. the, that's kind of the vibe I get, you know, like a real, like, I feel like they always pick like the really funky, like fun kind mm -hmm. of like upbeat sort of songs. And, it, and I would argue this song works super well in that sort of context. Um, I like that little dance break they had. That moment was really sick. Uh, I was a little disappointed that they and we both commented on the same time, Therese, the shoes and the water. Just a, that's a no. Oh, my no God, for, no. That's a no oh, for me, dog. Bam Bam. Uh, can't do it. And yeah, Bam, 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 Bam 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 is consistently the member that always makes me go, oh. Crazy. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you know, out of love. Yeah. Out of love. Like, yeah. oh, my God. Bam Bam. I can't believe you would do that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I do this... like how I'm pretty sure each of the scenes that they were in was, like, uh, relevant to them as as persons yeah right? i did notice that yeah that was yeah pretty cool. I, i'm wondering if like the oasis was bam bam's like thailand hometown or i don't know or like what was young jay's he was in like a house in i think he was in a house yeah. or something yeah. i yeah i'd be curious to figure out what those meant to them or if it was just stylistic choices <laughs> it could be that too as well um the vocal performance was great. This one was another one that I think is gonna has that sort of like earworm quality where it's like, man, I'm gonna be remembering this song. I'm gonna go check out the Spanish version, see if that one hits. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, 
<laughs> by everybody's recommendation in the chat. Let me know if the Spanish one slaps or not, you know? Um, but yeah, no, this was great. I, I, like I said, I have a, I have a bad, I have a bad reflex to always say that this is my favorite song, but I feel like when you consistently make I good think, songs, it's a little difficult yeah. to just, <laughs> it's difficult and to pinpoint which one. <laughs> You say that around the second or third song, which is interesting. It's like you I do need notice the, that, yeah. the teaser of like, what is this going to sound like? And then you figure out what it's going to sound like. And you're like, aha. That's in <laughs> a Eureka. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A Eureka moment. Yeah. I got but you. What was your we'll thoughts on this back... series? Oh, I freaking love the song. <laughs> okay. Is this I, one of like your I said, tops? I listen to the Spanish version constantly. Oh, oh God. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Well, I, I feel like definitely... the Spanish version, since you have beaten that one into the ground, I'm sure that uh, that's pretty <laughs> high up there. I'd say this is my top GOT7 song that wasn't written by JB. Uh, okay, yeah. I feel, like, I feel like you have to have usually your own my category tops... for JB, you know? Right, right. Usually my tops were written by JB, but this one I like a lot, so it'll go up there with my JB songs. <laughs> oh, don't don't hurt yourself, Teresa. All right? Don't put it up there if it doesn't feel the need to be up there, you know? I understand no. JB is on a higher, you know, you have a higher rating system for JB, so I get it, you know, respect. Can't help it. Yeah. But <laughs> this was written by uh, the production team Full Bloom, but oh, okay. the B is an eight. I'm not familiar with them. I'm sure they've done plenty know. of great work. Yeah. Um, Sounds like it. Great stuff. Oh, uh, sorry. Not not Justin Bieber. <laughs> JB like the, J like the... J like J A Y B as in boy. Yeah, I got Which, you. Well, he did... He started out with his stage name as just J-B. And I think oh, at oh, some okay, point he okay. changed it to J-B to be a little more that also know, doesn't make it any easier out a little I don't bit. Think. D james Blood. shut up alex oh my god <laughs> this is gonna be a bit i love it i'm all about it um can i I'm just gonna... say j bomb i'll say j bomb <laughs> okay can i call just... you j bomb i'm just j -bomb gonna... i'm gonna um uh, all right well i'm gonna let you i'm gonna let you cook Therese. <laughs> this is uh... me and my parasocial relationship you're really interrupting us <laughs> i'm sorry i'll actually here wait i'll let you have your uh Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. So, um, yeah, thank you for sending me this cup, JB. <laughs> okay, <laughs> wow, I, what a flex. Anyway, uh, Shay says, uh, I st I can still remember when uh, every guy gagged that this quote unquote low by is is in this beat with a laughing crying emoji. Um, Trello says every. Wait, what does that mean? I don't have no idea. If you can, if you can, uh, Shay, let us know. Let us Shay. know. Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> I actually have zero idea. Therese maybe have more of an idea. <laughs> um, Trillo says, uh, every CB from now on just keeps getting better and better. I I feel like that's par for the course here. You know, that's what I, this is what I do. You know, uh, Trillo says, uh, I have also <laughs> have the Spanish for everybody kept confirming the Spanish version. So I'm going to have to do it. I think that's, that's what it says. <laughs> um, and then Trillo also said, JB number one, he's my alt. So there we go. He's Another. also my ult. Like BTS is my ult group. Obviously, yeah, flowers obviously. to them. Yeah. JB is my ult idol. He is like the idol that I'm like, this is, if I were to ever be an idol, I want to be like JB. You want to be like what? JB or you want to be with JB? Well, that's what an idol is, right? I mean, well, okay. <laughs> Por que lo nos dos? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so you want... <laughs> Wait, so you want to be JB dating <laughs> JB? That would be the best. <laughs> <laughs> I listen. I'm just, no. I'm just saying what you're saying. No, so you're, no, you're... no. This is no. Okay, let's be real, guys. Let's bring down the Delulu. <laughs> I'm not dating JB. No one is. <laughs> we are all. Uh, none dating of the fans JB. out there are dating JB. What are you talking I'm about? I'm sorry if I'm breaking this. To I just you. got a DM from him. He said well, he's watching live now. You know. <laughs> Yeah, okay. <laughs> if that happened, I would end the stream right here. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Alex says he is dating Bam Bam. Okay, okay well, cool. I'll That's give you cool. that one, Alex. We'll give you that one, yeah. Uh... But yeah, uh, Trillo <laughs> kind of sums it up. I want to live in JB's brain. Like, would love to know what goes on in that amazing brain. And I, yeah. He's just That's a great right. creative mind. And he's got great stage performance. And he's a great songwriter. <laughs> and... <sighs> I look up to him. That's what idols are for. 
It was, we, <laughs> we all know who he's dating. Jin oh Young. Oh my god. I also love yeah. how I also love because Shay com- <laughs> Jay commented just before and said Jin Young is my <laughs> husband. So we have some conflicting no information. Dating JB, okay. But Shay is uh married to Jin Young, which I'm I'm pretty sure Logan said yeah. was also married to Jin Young. So you guys can hash that out, but <laughs> Yeah. I Anyway. I haven't picked no, one. Yeah. So other than JB, we're getting the Delulu out. We're getting the Delulu out. Cleaning the Delulu out. <laughs> <laughs> Even anyway, though this is not continue. the stream. This is not the end. This is not the stream to talk about this. This, <laughs> this is that, not the end. The after the after hour shit. Yeah. Oh my I'm, god. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. You put some good looking men in my age category, and it's over. <laughs> I. What are you talking about? You're the one who came on for God Seven. You're the one who's pitching me yeah, God Seven. Exactly. Yeah, Why I know. Want to talk about it. Yeah, I would just oh, want to talk about. Let's it. go to Miracle. Let's go to Miracle. Yeah, okay. It'll be Christmas time. <laughs> we'll be very, very uh, is innocent. This, is this and gonna sweet. be? Is this gonna be our straight kids uh, Felice Navidad moment? That's what I'm saying. That's what I need to know. Oh. Felice no. Navidad. Felice. Sorry. Anyway, God Seven Miracle. No. Let's give it a listen. Sorry, Alex. <laughs> Had to. Yeah, Alex can leave the room for this one. I know you don't like Christmas songs. <laughs> what a Scrooge. <laughs> I was kidding. Love you, Alex. Oh, I do need <gasps> to listen. To XG's song. new song changed me. Oh my god. Wow. He does have a heart. That's crazy. <laughs> And his heart grew three times. That's a little bit scary. <laughs> I don't like ghosts. <laughs> but it's a member of God 7, you know? That's okay. Didn't we talk about this last time? <laughs> if they were gonna haunt you? <laughs> I'd be okay with it. They're like hot ghosts, you know? I'll take it. But you can't see them. That's okay. They can see me. Teresa, I just want to let you know, this is snow. Just make sure. Oh. <laughs> Looks like sand. It's kind It's like wet sand.
Let's go. I'm just going to now think that God 7 is just, you know, the Christmas spirit, you know? I mean, okay. I mean, I'll take it, yeah. Yeah. Could be worse, you know? So, all right. Well, that was God 7 Miracle, you know, for the holiday season, y'all, you know? So I'm about it. Mm -hmm. um, this was good. I enjoyed this. I enjoyed this a lot. I think the, uh, I think the the piano work was incredible. So whoever did mm. shout out to whoever did the piano work on this song. It was beautiful, very like moving. It had like just that kind of uh, the way that they kind of went through the instrumentation just gave me that like holiday spirit vibe. You know, they, they really nailed that sort of sound, but I love that each one of them individually had their like moment of time to shine in this song, which was really great. You know, you got the really like tender kind of like, again, holiday spirit sort of like emotion feeling. Um, so I, I definitely love that. I was not expecting that little bit of a rap section that Bam Bam put in there. I was a little surprised. Yeah. That was, that was a little bit, it was out a of little care. bit, it's a, lot a of little care, bit good. out of, out of place, but it's, it's it wasn't fine. bad. I, it I wasn't bad. Yeah. I it think it bad. brought the energy up a little bit. Uh, so I appreciate that. I appreciate yeah. Bam Bam. I, I do appreciate Bam Bam, but yeah, overall it was good. I I don't I, I don't think there's anything I can say that I didn't really like about it. I think I might have more affinity to like it because it, it does give that sort of holiday spirit, and we are in December, <laughs> so I feel like you know, it's the time. I'm gonna live it. I'm gonna give it a little bit more brownie points because you know I feel like it's that time <laughs> of year, and I'll enjoy it. I'll savor it a little bit more this time around, but. You know, if you gave this and to me I back will... in June, then I'd be like, mm, eh, you know, I don't know. Yeah. Might not hit the and same. And I will say, out of Christmas songs in K-pop, this is definitely one of the more original ones. Because mm. a lot of times, uh, K-pop will release a winter song. And it's very much just like a K-pop song with some sleigh bells added in. <laughs> and this one, it, like, there's a composition. Oh, there's for sure. There's a lot sure. of, like, thought put into all of the melodies and all of their parts. Um, even Bam Bam's, which was still, like... I think it kind of defines the song too. It like makes it a little more God Seven, I would um, agree. Yeah. but yeah, I like it a lot as a Christmas song. But it's not my favorite God Seven song. But I still like it. <laughs> I think I would. I think it would incentivize me to put it more on on like a playlist now. Like you know, like if we mm -hmm. like right it, during it, the time <laughs> during the time. You know, I feel like it would hit more. Like you wouldn't probably catch me listening to this like in April. You know, but like. Right. Unless I'm feeling like really sentimental for like winter time, you know, and then I'll go give it a listen. But right. I think this, I think the song itself was like really well composed. Um, even if it does kind of feel like it has a timer on it, I guess per se. I don't want to like, I don't want to feel like I'm dissing mm -hmm. the track at all. But I feel like you, like you have to be in that like spirit or that mood to be listening to this song. I don't feel like this is like if I listen to another song from God Seven. I could just throw it on and be like, okay, I'm feeling, I'm feeling the Got Seven vibes today. You know what I mean? Like, I think there's certain songs, even like, even some artists that like I listen to, I'll like. There's only certain artists I'll listen to like this time of year because I know it's like, that's the time mm -hmm. of year to listen to this song. You know, so that doesn't mean it detracts from the song at all. I just feel like it kind of gives it like a parameter on like, okay, I'm feeling this song more so in this time frame. Mm. that makes sense if anybody i'm a little crazy so that's probably <laughs> me um oh, Ella was asking about our thoughts on the mv the mv was interesting uh i i i think i made a comment on saying like we we talked <laughs> did we talk about it? i think we talked about it in straight kids part three 
where oh, like right. they're, when the, they were, they're like, the vampires. Oh, right, they someone's house and like made the cake out of them or something. Yes, yes, exactly. <laughs> um, which I found out later on and that disturbed me greatly. Um, I feel like this one is like, this is like, I feel like I could attribute it more to like a Christmas spirit, you know, like. I feel like that's what like I was the, getting. I thought it was like, supposed to be like the the ghosts of Christmas, but then also like the little girl was alone in that house. So yeah. was it was she just like home alone? Like she didn't get to go to the Aww. on the family Christmas trip. Don't thankfully tell me that. no one tried to break into her house, and she don't, didn't have to. Don't tell me that, Trillo. I don't need the bad news, right? You know. Is that oh the MV is pretty dark? Is that why, or is it is there something I'm not getting? <laughs> yeah, let, let us know. We need to. Know. I did find it kind of creepy, but it I was also. Just... <laughs> uh, it supposed says... to be her guardian angels crossing her over. No way! No, I I need proof of this shit. I <laughs> this makes us talk even more sad. Holy shit! Okay. Boo. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I don't, I don't like this, Mr. Stark. Now I'm really scared. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so does that mean if we see God Seven Spirits, does that mean we're going to the the great the great farm up north? I need. To That's know. a good way to go. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> sure. I don't know if you want to put that out there, Teresa. <laughs> but oh man! All right. Well, that made that. A little more sad now, so um, I'm a little, I'm kind says of. Uh, it's kind of based on a true story. Uh, Jin Young kind of confirmed it. Oh boy! Oh, like they had a fan that reached out to them, or I don't know what the true story oh, is. Oh man, that that hurts. That's I, really sad. Oh. So she said, "I mean, if God Seven was my guardian angel, I would go." <laughs> oh no. No, 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 no. Uh, we can't have that. We can't have that. We can't have that. Oh, man. Um, also, uh, Kim says uh, it's o oxygen dating to hydrogen. I think she was referring to the snow joke I made about you uh, because. Oh, <laughs> what, is <laughs> what is snow? What is snow? I appreciate it, Kim. It was a joke because she, she lives in Florida and, you know. I don't think she understands I've the concept of this. I've done snow things before. <laughs> I like my dad lives in Utah, so I I do the skiing. I have We're joking. shoveled Listen, a snow Therese, once. <laughs> Therese and I have become good friends over this month. You know, some might say best friends. You know, so I feel you know I feel <laughs> like friends, I got a poke. Best, I got, friends. best friends, best friends. Um, but you know that was that was it. So I was joking. Um, uh, Tr <laughs> Trillo says uh, I don't know why the. Flight Log Trilogy and Miracle are so dark. Yeah, we, yeah, we found out about the Flight Log Trilogy in the last part. And that nearly <laughs> broke me. So uh, I'm glad oh. that we can continue on with the devastation. <laughs> I don't yeah. know. I hope the rest of their music videos aren't this dark. I'll be really sad. You know, I never look into the storyline that deeply. So you'll have to tell me. But... You'll have to let us know, chat. Let What's us know. the next let... one? I know I listed it out. The next one is Eclipse. Oh, Eclipse. <laughs> All right. It's right there. Yeah, it's literally right here, Teresa. Right here. Yeah, right here. Okay. Oh, yay. Okay, let's anyway. bring the mood up. Let's bring the mood up, yeah. I need some positive. Unless you're going to tell me this is about some, like, crazy eclipse that a bunch of people died in. It's JB. He calls it eclipse. <laughs> oh, my God. I love sequentials and it's their so choreography. Tight. It's so much fun. Oh. Oh. 
스스로 난더 두려워지네 그런 게더 뼈지대 내 맘을 흔들리네 커져가는 불안괴를 왜넌나 하는 믿고 있는데 우리 둘이면 충분해 우리 둘이서 완벽해 넌나 그리고 나와 너 우리는 가난데 내가 말한 것도 연기처럼 흩어져 잡고 있던 너도 사라질까 두려워져 너에게 나는 어떤 <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, same. <laughs> I forgot about this dance break. Oh, that is clean. Not in the Spotify version, so. Ooh! <laughs> Ooh. I feel like I haven't watched this since it came out. <laughs> The editing was clean on this too. Big salutes. Yeah. All right, guys. That was Got Seven Eclipse. Let's go. Love so it. it was kind of a dark song, but not like people dying dark. <laughs> what a transition, Therese. You're. I gotta get. Well, I was really worried because now I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't think I've read a lot of the lyrics to the like title tracks from before. I remember when the song came out. Or around that time. So, like, I've listened to it and I've heard it plenty of times, but I've never actually, like, I feel like I haven't seen this music video in a long time. Oh, okay. And I'm, I don't think I've ever read the lyrics. Same. So this was interesting. I haven't seen it either. <laughs> yeah. Between security and insecurity. Okay, so that makes sense because the song was about insecurity. <laughs> Big facts. I know what that's like. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You want me to go first, Therese? Um, I guess I'll start. No. Oh, okay. Um, okay. <laughs> This is, yeah, this is one of the songs that put GOT7 on the map for me. It was like Hard Carry and then this one. Ooh, um, okay, okay. And because at the time I would listen to their other stuff and I'd be like, ah, oh, you know, I think I'd rather listen to a different group or most of at the time I think I was listening to Melanie Martinez or some something. <laughs> but, um, respect. I guess. I, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, so before I got like into K pop or into the K pop community, um, this, it's like a classic K-pop song to me, this song is. Okay. But it's also okay. around the time that I was still discovering K-pop as a genre. Mm -hmm. And I think it's a lot of like high energy choruses paired with a very emotional delivery from all the members. Oh, yeah. I would um, agree. Mm -hmm. And the, the the dance music. Like the you can you can get dad to all these songs. Uh, oh, yeah. even Miracle. I'll I'll do like a little ballet pirouette. Um, and support that little girl all the way to the other side. Uh, so sad, but yeah. Wow, I you love really, this song. You really took us through a journey. I, I respect that. Um, <laughs> speaking of which, uh, Trillo did comment and said a fan had a little sister that was a big fan, but she was sick. Uh, they planned on seeing God's Heaven together, but the older sister had to go by herself in the end. She told Matt, Matt K? I don't know if that's... Oh. Uh, um, I don't know who that's referring told to. Mark about oh, it. Oh, Mark, Mark about it. Uh, since he was, uh, her sister's bias. Her, her sister's bias. Oh, okay. damn. <sighs> that one hurts even more now. Um, yeah. And then uh, Eclipse is my second favorite. Got seven song. Uh, from Logan. Uh, and then 
Uh, Trello also said to me, since I was in Korea, when it came out, I got to see God 7 both days in Seoul, uh, the first stop of their uh, Keep Spinning tour. That is amazing. God, I'm so jealous. <laughs> I had an opportunity to go see God 7, and I squandered it. I am. I will always punch myself for that. Oh, <laughs> like, no. oh, my God. No, no. I was uh, like, no, it's on a Tuesday. I don't want to have to drive do three yeah. hours to go see them on a Tuesday. I would have gone. Now you would have, yeah. You If you only would have known. I considered uh, flying to Mexico last Thanksgiving to see a JB concert. Ayo. There's respect. no, <laughs> there's <laughs> nothing I wouldn't do for a K-pop. <laughs> <laughs> Travel to Mexico. Um, uh, and then uh, Logan also said, Young J ate the chorus up. I would agree. That Young J, agreed. shout out, salutes. Um, Shay says, thank you. I think it's J, that's JB, I assume, right? Correct, Therese? J bomb. Thank you. Oh, J bomb. Yeah. Uh, yeah, for composing Eclipse. Agreed. Yes. Uh, Young J slays in the song. Trillo says, "Eclipse is my underappreciated queen." Uh, J bomb oh. uh, has uh, re- has to, had to rewrite Eclipse fifteen times because of JYP. Uh, J bomb ended up getting nosebleeds. I remember this. Holy no, shit! No, I remember this. This was like a whole thing. I hated. <laughs> I was like, "Let him write. Let him cook." <laughs> uh. Man, it, is, that was where I was rough. talking about like he was really hard on them like he he wanted Aww. to better their songwriting but I think that at that time he was probably leaning a little bit too much into his own tastes rather than yeah appreciating someone else's that's rough um though. Eclipse is incredible as it is now oh yeah we agreed yeah um I guess for uh me I really enjoyed this one a lot um I think this was really really solid I think mesh with the music video i really enjoyed like the the way that they were kind of able to like kind of rope in the song in the way that like i noticed that some of the choreo matched up with like the way that maybe like a stop part of the song came in or like the way that they kind of shot it was like really intentional so i love that um their choreo in this song was really great i can only imagine like a live stage of this is like even better but um i really enjoyed the bits of choreo that they had in here um i also really enjoyed the like i think it's weird because like god seven is especially with this song specifically hits this really interesting niche of like i think it's smooth but also in the same way that like it has like a lot of like edm elements which Mm -hmm. i don't i feel like you don't necessarily attribute to more of a smoother sort of sound so i love the fact that they're able to kind of kind of shoot the gap a little bit and and have mm-hmm. a song that kind of has that sort of like e- like soft EDM element to it but also has like a lot of great like R&B kind of like vibe to it that I really enjoyed um I think again I I would agree with the comments and saying JB was great on the song and in co- composing it so big shout outs and then oh. I'd also say Young J was a, a definite highlight of this song as well too oh yeah um, I I really enjoyed the just he just went off. I just know I how to belt. It. They know how to belt. Yeah. yeah they yeah. they got it. They know like the perfect moment of when you're like, I feel like you can almost you can almost intentionally feel when the next part they're gonna belt. Like you they like have it built up in this way where you're like, ah, oh, you know someone's gonna go off. You know, someone's gonna pop off yeah. in this part of the song and then it, it happens and it's like it's like that vindication. So mm-hmm. I love that. I think this is this is a very well well made song and I'd only imagine that the more you listen to it, the more you probably f- find things that you mm-hmm. enjoy, the more things you can pick out, the more you fall in love with this song. So I would, I would definitely agree. This is, this is def, this one at least if I was going to recommend a song to any new Got Seven fan that just winds up checking this video out, I'd probably say just this is a good, wait. this is a good one, this is a good one. <laughs> Even though I know just there's probably wait. there's more songs. <laughs> there's I gonna know. be one more. It's yeah, gonna get better. <laughs> <laughs> Therese, you gotta you have to let me know which one you're I know you always do, but you're gonna have to let me know which one's your favorite out of this sub subset oh, of man. songs. It's so. gonna be hard this time. But, I know, um, yeah. You yeah. you picked a hard this one. I'm not thinking the, the wheels back are half. turning while we're here. <laughs> okay, good. Uh um, well while, while the wheels I've, are turning, I'll read some chat then. So um Yeah, I would I, I'm not gonna read the last one because that uh that's more of a personal take, I think. I don't wanna talk about anyone specifically but yeah i i I do think that they're amazing um live performers and i think 
I told you this at the beginning when I was like, I really want to talk about GOT7 and this is why. Um, because everyone's into new jeans now and yeah. I understand completely because I'm so on board. Like they have such Same. a good style. I'm a bunny. Um, yeah. And I noticed that they did fill a gap that GOT7 as a group has left behind for a bit because they had that like sort of... Well, and EXO has it too, is a lot uh, more of the like R&B tones or the more like smooth tones. Mm -hmm. But I think GOT7 does a really good job bringing that to K-pop specifically, whereas uh, EXO stays within the SM realm. And um, GOT7 is like the perfect bridge between like New Jeans and 80s or like... Um, yeah, like I would agree. KRB yeah. and uh, Stray Kids, like the, it's the perfect bridge for people that like both genres. So I love what they've contributed. That I hope everyone is checking out now, even though I know they're not on any of the recent K-pop playlists. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> they I think, will be at their next comeback. <laughs> I think for me, it's like I like that we are giving them a listen in like kind of their quote unquote like off season. I guess, you know, if I can use mm -hmm. like a sports met metaphor for this. Um, I, yeah, valid. I think for me, it's like, I love New Jeans. They're like one of the first groups that got me into K-pop, which for people who don't know in the chat, like I've only been listening to K-pop for maybe, I would say like seven or eight months now. So like, oh, yeah, for we forgot me, to touch on that. <laughs> forgot to touch on that. We always do, but it's all right. Um, I think for me, it's like, I don't have the barometer to like under like I've been in music for a long time but like I this isn't the type of music that I had been listening to prior to like seven or eight months ago um and so I think for me it's like it's interesting to put it in the perspective that I know it's in for like myself but then like to hear other people kind of give their perspective and like people that I have given some really great comments and like have given me some good feedback like even bad feedback I don't really care I, I'll learn learn it all <laughs> but like I think it's really important for me because, like, I don't know, like, I don't know everything about GOT7. And I probably won't, you know, but I think for me, it's like, I, I love the fact that, like, people are willing to delve out that information or, like, be able to talk about a group that they love just as much as, like, I'm able to talk about group, like, bands that I love listening to, you know, and so, like, I, I appreciate the fact that just chat has been really cool and, like, in all of the videos we've done pretty much, I don't think there's been, like particularly one set of groups that I didn't feel like I was like you're not wanted here you know don't come hang out you know like <laughs> I think it's like it's cool to know that people like are so dedicated to their group and they're like hey we want to show mm -hmm. you why we love this group so um to me that's great so yeah. I, I love I love jumping into these so we'll obviously keep doing it in the new year as well but um that was a yeah. terrible side tangent to <laughs> That some of the comments I was gonna say a like... lot of people get really scared of K-pop stands, rightfully so, because Fair, there's yeah. a lot that they've accomplished as a community. But um, the true goal is just to get everyone into K-pop. So if you listen to the music, they like you now. Maybe I'm a mart. Yeah, maybe I'm like the martyr. You know, I have to take all the like. You know, I'm the filter. You know, maybe I have to be like <laughs> that. Like, you know. Maybe you have yeah, to do that. Yeah, you so. got to hold the glue together between the, metal yeah. heads and yeah, K-pop yeah, yeah. stands. <laughs> yeah, I'm like uh, I'm like the scene in Spider-Man 2 where he's holding the fucking subway car yeah. bag. Yeah, <laughs> that's you. That's, that's you me. right I'm now. I'm Tobey Maguire. You know, shout out. Yeah. My guy. And Trillo's right. Uh, God7 always welcomes new baby birds to the nest. Agase is the chillest fandom I've ever... Because, like, I've say. been on all sides. I gotta I've say, I've been yeah. in through the stay. I've been through the army. I've Not the real army, like the BTS <laughs> army, but... Like, the real army. People ask army. me all the time. I'm like, no, it's not real. It's not... I'm not a real army, U.S. army associate. <laughs> but, um... <laughs> you should just say yes but, now. <laughs> Like, the fan wars are always crazy, and I never experienced that with God7. Granted, I joined kind of late into the fandom, um, but I still, like, it was it was always whatever. And yeah. the boys are a big reflection of that, because they goof around so freaking much. <laughs> I love that. I'm a it, big goofball, it's fun. so I get it. It's fun. They get, get, like, it. Miss Congeniality Award in third gen boy Hell groups yeah. for me. I love that. I'm about it. I'm about it. Shout out to God7. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I'll have to learn Korean. You can come on the show. I don't know. We'll figure it out. 
Uh, I mean, Mark's American. He, he speaks Hey, English, Mark, so. come on the show. Let's do Bam it, Bam, Mark. Bam Bam knows fluent English. Bam Bam let's, and Mark, let's, get, let's go. Let's get him on here. Let's, yeah, let's I know you have your own talk show, Bam Bam, but come, yeah, come, come hang on. out with us. Come hang out, uh, yeah, we'll get Teresa. Teresa and we'll have Teresa on as a special guest. Oh, yeah. and then he can meet his, his boyfriend, Alex. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. We were right. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta bring the people together. Um, the Sherry says uh, original version of Eclipse was nowhere near this. Haha! Ha, thank God he shared it to us. Uh, I'll have to check out the OG version. Um, everybody's saying OG version sound and fire. Uh, JYP was just towards uh, J Bomb because he was jealous. Blah blah blah. Um, God seven. We already talked about baby stuff. Um, uh, yeah. we will check out the choreo for Eclipse. We do plan on doing like a live stage, something like that. Maybe we'll do it at the end of the year to kind of do all that sort of stuff. Um, so we'll we'll figure it out. Uh, and then Trilla also mm -hmm. said, by the way, if you like rock and metal, I can recommend ACE, my other alt. Uh, we'll have to add yeah, it to Ace, the list. ACE is one of the groups that one of my friends I got her into K-pop through like bts and stray kids mm. and she went off on her own tangent and she found like n flying and ace is her other like top one so oh. i'll definitely ask her because i i've only listened to a, a few of ace tracks but well maybe we'll have to get sick. your friend on they're we'll like have to get your friend they're on. almost operatic so. <laughs> oh oh i yeah. love that that's sick okay all right let's yeah. do it well chilo we expect you to be there if we're going to talk about ace so it's yeah. you gotta you gotta to the list. you gotta show up um all right, well, the next one we have here is Focus on Me, and this is Just Two. Oh, God, yes. Okay. <laughs> You're going like, to huh? really like this one after that whole tangent on R&B. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay. This okay, is okay. a unit with JB and uh, the youngest, um, yu -Gyum. I just blanked. yu -Gyum is his name. Are you okay, um, he's Teresa? the youngest member. He's like, no. I know their names, I swear. <laughs> I was thinking Jin Young and then, I don't know. That's all right. You got um, it. You're flustered. Baby <laughs> and yu -Gyum and and uh, yu -Gyum is also like a super, super awesome dancer. But yeah. Very Your good. Trillo just said uh, there's always talks of people in every fan base, but I will say God Seven are pretty chill. Uh, we learned to be good fans because our idols uh, thought uh, thought us well. <laughs> I, thought us yeah. well, yeah. I, I I would agree. It's it seems like everybody's been really cool, so I can't can't agree with that. And oh, that's true. The the members do call people out when they're like, "Stop saying that." <laughs> oh, really? Okay, that's good. Stop being toxic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Trillo also says, uh, we'll be there if you do ace. Okay. We'll we'll keep we'll keep note of that. Um right. uh, Shay says, uh, you can't be a bad agassi when God Seven can see every, everything, especially on Twitter. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. Well, I promise to not be a bad agassi, guys. So I mean I am making videos. I don't think you them. would know how to be toxic in camp. <laughs> I don't I also just don't know how to be toxic in general. So I think uh there you go. Um anyway. Just two, focus on me. Let's give it a listen. Now I'm going to be thinking about what kind of trash. <laughs> no. I'm gonna start drinking a lot of water now. Oh, 
Since I got a comment that I don't finish all the videos till the end, you know, guys, I have one second <laughs> left. So I don't expect any comments of me not finishing the videos because we're doing it all the way. Um, all right. Well, this is just to focus on me. I I enjoy this one a lot. I feel like, you know, everybody was feeling themselves a little, you know, in this video, you know, so I respect that. Um, I got to say, if I could encapsulate this one song with one adjective i think i would quantify it as effortless i think there's the song Ooh. just had this way about it that just like it was just smooth there's just something about it that like required little effort you know it was just like a vibe a feeling you know the beginning you can give, of me, the, you can give the me the vibe. snaps you know like you know like you know yeah. like those there's typical like New York, you know, like clubs and like, you know, giving the poem, you know, that's me. It's the vibe. Um, no, this was great. Um, this was, this was, um, yu gi -Oh and JB. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, this was great. Great song. Um, I, I, is it just, did they just do this, just one song or is this a part of like a larger release? Uh, they, th yeah, they had a, an album with Ooh. this song. I don't think they did anything outside of this album uh okay. they did uh osts or like k dramas and stuff but mm -hmm. yeah this is the only album that they have okay so. i'll have to give it a listen if the rest of this sounds like on the on the nose this type of stuff then i feel like uh i'm gonna <laughs> i'm uh i'm yeah. definitely be listening to this a lot this 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 strikes this strikes a, a a note in my musical catalog that I really enjoy. I feel like most people know that I'm like now really feeling the like R and B jazz sort of stuff, and I think this is a this is this is on point. So yeah, this is mm -hmm. this is great. I and again, I want to beat a dead horse. I'm just gonna say it's another great song that I'm not gonna pick a favorite because I I, I know all of these are gonna wind up being my favorite at some point. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna leave it at that. That's that's my thoughts, mm -hmm. Therese. What's what's your thoughts on this song? This music video uh, broke my brain. <laughs> <laughs> it is so good. It I is actually so good. How good yeah. this music video is! It's literally like one of the most top tier things I've ever seen. And the edits I'm are biased, on point. of course. Yeah. This is all a biased opinion. But <laughs> Jesus, like the vocals, the choreography, the Choreo. shot, everything was just flawless. I agree. And I'm like, I feel like I actually do need to turn a fan on because I'm going to get hot and I know what's coming up next. And oh, it's oh. going to get very hot in here. 
and I, I'm gonna start sweating and blushing, and it's not gonna be a good time. That's what you um, did say. You did say that in the chat. You did say that in our chat. You're like, uh, yeah. this is gonna be this is gonna be a feverish night. <laughs> this, yeah, this is this is part of the fever dream. I did look up um, who directed this music video because I'm like, good grief. I yeah, need shout to out. I need to know too. Um, it is Nyan Kim, who also directed New Jeans ASAP music oh. video. Okay. Well, um, and I'm less. seeing some other New Jeans graphics on here. Maybe it's a graphic artist. I'm not sure, but um, yeah. Clean stuff. Clean stuff. Big oh. shout outs. Big shout Jesus. outs. Oh God. Um, All right. Well, I don't know what you're looking okay, at. Okay. So. so. <laughs> no, I'm just. Well, I'm looking at her or their uh, the catalog their discography. I guess. Yeah. Um, so much. So much good stuff. Okay. But go. uh, yeah. Get into some comments while I literally turn my fan on. Oh, wow. Okay. It wasn't, it wasn't for a bit. Uh, all right. Shay says, oh, this song, fire. Uh, Trillo says, bunch of fire emojis. Uh, Shay says, leader yu gi -Oh, Let's go. Uh, Shay also says, uh, JB broke the sexy meter. He's so hot in this. Uh, Trillo says, my alt bias, alt record. Uh, I don't The sweating emoji. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Chilla says, saw See, this the fan saw the is necessary. Saw, saw, this, <laughs> saw this live, forever grateful, praying hands, fire emoji. <laughs> that is, I, you know, listen, I have not <laughs> felt jealous about K-pop stuff up until this very point. And I'm like, this <laughs> this would have been hot to see live. I'm not going to lie. So I, I'm a little jealous, Trillo. Um, Shay says, sorry, I can't unsee yu gi -Oh's pans <laughs> getting ripped during... <laughs> One of their live performances, the choreo is so oh no. Oh no. Oh come on. People have people uh, have wardrobe designers. malfunctions. Yeah, come people on. have wardrobe malfunctions, you know. Uh and then Shay also said I should listen to the whole album. It's all about the senses. Oh, okay. That's very cool. I like that. Thank you for the info. Um Trello says, uh yes, it was so fun. Um Oh my God! Uh, they did take OST for Jin Young's drama. Uh, he is psychometric. Uh, another song I listen to a lot. And then uh, she says the surprise OST uh, take is also on. Uh, take is also so good. Uh, this duo of just two is perfect. Okay, cool. Caught up with all of them, and you turned your fan on, Tree. So yeah, feeling, I'm ready for good. the next one. I don't have a fan on, but. I think I might need okay, one. Okay, <laughs> I gotta, I gotta, I gotta prepare you. Cause... Okay, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave the cursor off, so I don't, I don't know what it is. So give me um, the tea. Spill me yeah. the tea. Yeah, it, it's there's no tea. This is just a really good one. This might be one of my favorites. Yeah, this might be in the top three. I don't know where though. Wait, wait, wait. Um, okay, and... but I have to ask, Therese, are we getting through the rest of your favorites? Uh, like, are you saying favorites in terms of, like, there is this is still... your favorite title track? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> no, wait. <laughs> we still I... have three other songs that I consider my favorite title track. So. Holy fuck. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot. I told you, today's stacked, but. Um, oh, my this God. Is, this is pretty much the song that I was like, oh. <laughs> I get it now. <laughs> We've oh. got seven. <laughs> oh God! Oh God! Wow. And I okay. think a lot of people entered the fandom around this time. I, so all right. It, well, I need to know if Chat knows what talking you're talking about, so then I can like not look at whatever. The Trillo just is. sent the fire emojis. Right, Trillo just, <laughs> they they just know. sent the fire emoji. They know. <laughs> Oh, uh, it was amazing live. Uh, it was before I went to Korea. I was lucky. They came to Singapore for four days before I was going to Korea, so I had to go. That's amazing. Korea is yeah. also amazing. Would love to go back to Korea. Shout outs to, shout outs yeah. to the homeland. You know, love that. Um, but yeah, I did. I put this song on as the performance video for a reason. Oh, so this is not an MV. This is a performance. Oh, oh. it's a performance MV. It's performance still not like okay, a live, yeah. but yeah. I got you. I got you. They okay. do have live stages. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm fully aware of that. <laughs> <laughs> we will probably I've tackle them at some point. <laughs> <of them. laughs> I'm, not, I'm not surprised. All right. Well, okay. Anyway, let's go. Let's go. Oh, let's this go. is uh, this is you calling my name. You're calling my name. All right, let's see if I'm gonna feel the same things as Therese. So. <laughs> 
네가 참 미웠었어 상처만 남긴 실수를 원망했어 이젠 너 없인 의미를 잃은 네가 oh, 다시 okay. 불러줘 지명적 인의 mistake uh, 네가 없는 나는 fake uh, 빛이 없는 나는 black uh, 의미조차 없는 말 uh, 절로 더 bad guy uh, 널 울린 대가 Okay. I think I might know why you like this, Therese. Just, just a hint. Oh, this chorus slaps. All right. Pause this. I gotta. I gotta. I gotta give him some. Coo you know what? In fact, the way I've watched so many performances that, that was... I could physically hear the leather snapping when they were doing those moves. No, Therese. No, 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 no. Okay. I'm ashamed. I'm. It's fine. Hey, whatever. Messed. You know. Listen. I will say, I love this song. This is a great oh song. Oh my god! Fantastic. I think it's because I can draw the parallel like musically because for whatever reason the instrumentation gives me Dua Lipa vibes. You know, it's got that Ooh, like it's yeah. got that like it's got that like eighties like pop kind of feel to it, and I didn't really put it together until we got to the chorus and that was like that like kind of like like more like uh really like treble yeah, the bass. like the bass work like yeah. the way that the guitar is played i'm almost positive we're playing some sort of like uh like fender strat like very like twangy mm. sort of guitar work um which i love I, i'm a huge fan of that stuff i'm a huge fan of du dua lipa as well um but i feel like the song has that sort of like rhythmic quality to it and then also on top of them all singing like fantastic, I I think this one is like, I I think this one is an out of the park, grand slam for me. This one is I I can tell yeah. why people love this one, and I can also tell why more people became fans of Got Seven. If you just listen to it on Spotify, I think if you watch the music video, then you have a whole new respect for this group <laughs> for for a completely different reason that uh. 
don't feel comfortable <laughs> talking about because it's a little weird. But uh, you know what I but mean. You if you watch the music video, you know it's good. There's some comments in here I can't say because I don't personally feel comfortable talking about them. So that's I'll all. Talk gonna, about it. Hold uh, on. <laughs> Therese can read some of the comments because I. This is my don't. time. This, this is, is your my time. time to stamp. All right, all right, all right. I'm we have not gotten it. into like my heavy simpable groups yet. <laughs> um, Wait, this is yeah, one this of your is... simpable groups? No, I was saying we haven't before oh, okay. this group. Oh, okay. okay so this okay, is my okay. time. This is okay, my time. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Okay, cool. Yeah, no, this is because. Before you start reading comments, I just want to sum up. This is exactly what I think, and Alex and I are on the same page. He oh. put in quotes, respect, and I also agree with that. That's all I'm going to say. That is the most valid yes. uh, thing that you could say, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. I get it. Exactly. Yep. Like That's it. It's obvious. It's all obvious say. <laughs> that they were going for a sexy concept, yes. and they put them in leather suits, yep. which automatically win. Yeah. And then, Their like, fits are on the point. Song. I agree with that. The yeah. song is so good. It was so like it was such a departure of K-pop at the time. It was refreshing was because yeah. they, you know, we were so used to all of the like maximalist production and all of the like crazy sounds. And God Seven came back in and said like, "But wait a second. <laughs> wait, <laughs> but a wait second. a second. Let's <laughs> break second. it down. Let's break it down right now." Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. I this got you. Song, I was obsessed with, and the whole album. So okay. good. The whole, so does good. the whole it, album sound like this, Therese? No, it's okay. not specifically like you calling my name. It's still very much cohesive, I think. Okay. Um, but okay. it still has a lot of the same things that people like about God Seven, which is the virality. Mm -hmm. It has its own sort of just right song where uh, okay. with really cute choreography mm. um, called Thursday. I actually referenced it in a different um, reaction video we did, where oh. I was like, "This kind of sounds like Thursday." <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I think it's incredible. I and you know why JB is my old bias? It's because he wrote this song. It's because I was like, oh my god, this song is incredible. Who worked on this? Oh, what's this guy? He looks like he's on a lot of uh, Got Seven tracks. I don't. Oh, okay, he's got a he, a SoundCloud. Okay, this is JB. <laughs> <laughs> this is that one guy with the long hair. <laughs> like it was it was the full rabbit hole that was what happened and i i'm i have so much respect honestly like you said for everything they put into this performance and, i didn't say it. alex said it but i agreed uh, with alex but you are saying it as well but yeah. i was also saying it as well yes <laughs> yeah <laughs> um so yeah some of the comments since i'll read them since it's, thank you thank you Teresa. i appreciate <laughs> it's it so thank, scary. You. thank you thank <laughs> you um, my most favorite GOT7 title track and title song. Totally get it. Um, Jin Young's Best Era, hands down. So naturally one of my faves. Yep. Concept is amazing. Uh, GOT7 is like everyone is doing retro stuff. So we will do Sexy and Mature. I don't remember all the retro. Maybe this was around. Oh, yeah. Because this was around uh, Dua Lipa's album, actually. Oh, perfect. Um, oh, I, I'm glad. This came out dropped. in 2019. So it might have dated uh, four years yeah this came out november 9th uh 2019 dua lipa's future nostalgia is that what you're referencing yes i was referencing that yes correct i'm like i think that came out later back. i think that came right out later. i think yeah. it was 2020 right uh i'm gonna look it up you can read the rest yeah, of the comments i'll um I'll take a but, look here. uh 2020 oh logan's <laughs> Yeah, okay, so, so it did way later. Dua way Lipa. later, yeah. Um, and uh, Logan's getting jealous with the Jin Young <laughs> shared <laughs> husbandry. <laughs> hey, listen, um, I don't make the rules here, all right? <laughs> so. I, they, hey, they're idols, they're everyone's husbands yeah. and sons and best friends. <laughs> um, <This> is... <laughs> K pop was never the same after you calling my name. True. Uh, <laughs> Jin Young in that red leather suit, Young J's vocals in the song. Oh, uh, I agree. Hana Day says I don't like pleather. That was shout friend out. Hana. Uh, wait, wait, wait. This is my friend Hana. This is my IRL IRL best friend Hana that I keep no, telling you. About. Shout out, shout out, Hana. She was out. just on Twitch yesterday, and I joined her stream. Hi, Hana. Sh shout out I'm thank so, you i'm so embarrassed she oh. saw me go through this whole spiral. Shout out, Hana. Let's go. Um, 
Pull she up. says, I don't like pleather. Well, they don't like you. No, just kidding. Oh. <laughs> um, so many people joined the nest after this comeback, me included. Yeah, uh, that would make sense. <laughs> yep, that checks. <laughs> I saw Logan that said, and that was can that end I couldn't me. say that. <laughs> I could say that. Jin Young can end me. That's okay. There was something I saw in like when I was watching the Mama Awards live. Oh, Someone no. tweeted like what was it? It was like Felix can uh, uh like spin me into a uh UFO and send me to the outer space or something. I was like, where did this come from? <laughs> Some good ones. Um Oh god. Oh I mean I respect it. Hey, but <laughs> Oh my god, okay. Uh, I'll skip to Alex saying respect. <laughs> um, it's the leather Jason. shoes for me. That's that one was another that was another good one. I like that one. <laughs> Shout out to Alex. That was great. Shay said, ironically, JB doesn't pick this outfit as sexy because of the fit question mark. I am also saying question mark. Um so happy God Seven got their first day so- day song for this song, which oh, is the top top award. Very sick. Um, in Congre- a lot of K pop. Well deserved. Music. Yeah. Ugh, they should have gotten it years before, but they got it with this song. True. Um, TXT, BTS, Everglow, and the other groups did a retro stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. I, yeah, we did um, tackle Everglow, and I did not. We haven't tackled TXT or BTS yet. So, but we have this BTS. Like La Di Da, I guess, and Blue Hour. La Di Da, yeah, I would say, yeah, I would um, agree with that. Yeah. I was talking about him in the MV when I said I don't play with. My- down. criminally down bad <laughs> alex that's me <laughs> that's me <laughs> when irl friends show up in chat that's great <laughs> love it shout out to hana um i said it like 20 times so i feel i feel down bad now um all right well i feel like we got, uh, we, got we got the sexiness loose here so you know well, we're only halfway through the playlist <laughs> So wait, there's. We gotta bring wait. it, re- reel it back in, reel it back in. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna, okay, okay. we're gonna okay. clear, clear the air. <laughs> uh, yeah, cleanse Shay's, the mind. Shay, Shay says we got hard carry show in this era, and I love this time of year. <laughs> yes. Oh uh, yeah, they're they're uh, variety shows. That was nice. Really fun. Okay, well, I, th- that was that was a fun time. I, I liked being an Agassé. Um, yeah, Logan, don't <laughs> you don't need to share everything. <laughs> I, yeah, we don't need to know it all. You know, <laughs> there's some there's a uh, there's uh, some things that are better left uh, to yourself. You know, that's all I'm gonna say. I mean, I respect your decision for for liking that. But anyway, uh, God Seven, not by the moon. This is the next one. Do I need to know anything about series, or are we jumping into this one too? This was an interesting one because it had a lot of like teasers for it, and I remember because mm-hmm. I was following them very closely at the time. <laughs> Yeah, um, that makes sense. Yeah, the teasers, check it out. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the teasers were um, surrounding a more like romantic time period, so hmm. uh, think like period drama Shakespeare. Ah, oh, okay. Very where, nice. I think they were like p- pitching up a circus tent or something um, in their in their little outfits. I will also say. <laughs> and, oh, Trillo said yes. The next J bomb you see will be one of the best J bombs. It was peak peak j-bomb era <laughs> okay well i'll also say um i think this goes without saying before we jump into the next one i will say uh you calling my name the choreo on this was fantastic as well i don't think i mentioned it of course. in my comment <laughs> but the the choreo was so smooth so smooth, so it, was, smooth. It, was, it was it was effortless as i mentioned before so just wanted to point that out but anyway let's uh get into now by the moon next one Ooh. 
It's a cool choreo. Woo! Bang. Oh. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, this ending gave me... <laughs> for all you nerds out there, it's gonna. It gave me the like Skyrim drop in, <laughs> like it's like when you wake up. And what if you woke up and you just saw Got Seven? <laughs> You're like, <laughs> that's what I think of. Any of my nerd friends knows what's good, you know. But this was uh, Got Seven, not by the moon. I like this one. I feel like I'm gonna keep saying that. This is a, I'm just being a dead horse at this point, you know. I think I this one was very fun. I liked. I think the the coolest part about the song for me at least was the chorus. Like it's mm -hmm. somehow like really like energetic but also had that like smooth undertone. Um mm. I thought that was very cool. Um enjoyed that a ton. Um I think vocally everybody was like popping off. I think Young Jay was oh, yeah. really sick. Like it it just mm -hmm. had Yugyum like I feel like it was crazy like each member individually just kind of had their own moment to just like do their thing and just go. Um, so I love that. And um, cho the choreo moments were really cool, especially that like last bit of choreo towards the end of the song. I thought that was probably like one of the coolest uh, choreo moments that I've s seen. Um, as well as that, just enjoyed the song. I, I don't think I really have anything bad to say about it. It was just another fun one. Would love to delve into this one a little bit more. I'm sure I'll be given a lot more GOT7 love probably for the next couple of days. So excited to delve into it some more. But this was this was really well done. And I, I would guess JB also did the production on this song, Therese. Am I correct? Uh, or let or me no? double check. <clears throat> no, not on this one. Oh, okay. Um, there were... Other songs in this album that um, the members took part in, this is a really good album. I would highly recommend it for okay. anyone that even remotely wants to try to get into GOT7. Um, oh, <laughs> yeah, my favorite song on this album is Crazy, which is the one that he wrote. Uh, I'd say 
I like all of the songs in this album more than the title track, which is not to say ah. that it's a bad title track. Okay, okay. Um, I don't think it's bad at all. I do think that they p- they're in a very high range for their they vocals. Are. Yeah. And I didn't expect it to be like that the whole song. I kind of expected it just to be for those parts when like Young Jay's freaking going off, JB's yeah. going off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the chorus is kind of high. Um, but it's like, other than that, yeah, it's like yeah, that, yeah, yeah. Other than that, I do really like how the lyrics flow with the song. Like when they're talking about like the die, which is what the album is called. It's called Die. And uh, this Korean word for die, or like the way that you die me, it's kind of dark sounding. Um, the way those lyrics sound like dark sounds. I don't mm. know how else to explain it. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. It's just very like um, jum- jumbled, I guess, in the words. But it's it's like, I don't know. It, it's kind of, it's a dark song in concept. And in composition, if that makes sense. Okay. Um, but yeah, it, I I really like the styling. I thought it's beautiful. Yes. I should really oh, yeah. buy this album. I don't I don't I don't own it, but it's a beautiful album. <laughs> um, and uh, I liked the teasers they did for it too. I definitely like that. Uh, Trillo, no, I didn't get the theme of this MV. So if you want to give me a quick synopsis. Oh, cool. it was, uh, uh, wait, what is it? It's like, uh, they like broke my brain for real guys. <laughs> um, it's like, wow. uh, it was that swear song. not by the moon. <laughs> yeah. No, it's the Shakespeare, the swear not by the moon, uh, Romeo and Juliet. Oh, okay. I, you know, yeah. I grew up with God, so I don't know any of this stuff. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. That's all I'm going to say. That's going to be all my details on that. So I, I didn't, to to be fair, I probably should learn a lot more about like the the arts, like Shakespeare, all that sort of <laughs> stuff, but that will be my own free time. So uh, yeah. Trilla says yeah. it's Romeo and Juliet. Okay. I said, I, I had a feeling, but I wasn't, I wasn't hundred percent sure. So good to know. Yeah. Uh, Logan said, God seven, my favorite vocal line, uh, solely based off of how well young Jay and JB's voice go together completely agree they I, I feel like you know uh i feel like jb's voice can kind of mesh with everyone's in in got seven so i'm not really surprised at how and also young jay i think young jay is a fantastic vocalist as well too so it's it's nice to hear their combination um and then uh chillo also agreed uh says even the lead uh lead vocal line is crazy having whole a whole jin young and yugyum as lead vocals is crazy uh Trill also said no danish song uh writers did the song uh i know since i'm fr- oh very nice well kudo, k- kudos from hello from denmark um and then uh crazy is amazing but weird uh poison and aura are my favorite songs off the album okay. what do you mean <laughs> what do you mean <laughs> what do you mean it's weird oh no <laughs> is there something oh, i'm no. not getting <laughs> Oh no! Oh no, Trillo! <laughs> Don't you're gonna <laughs> listen. Therese is already broken as it is for the right now. Uh, I don't know if you want to further extend that pain. So, <laughs> <laughs> crazy is like one of my favorite God Seven songs. <laughs> I feel what? like you have said that. I feel like that you have said that a lot throughout this series. Yeah. So now, we're... <laughs> and on, you're getting on. on me about picking my favorite. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> listen. I could take it, you know, so. <laughs> but anyway, we'll move on to the next one. Um, <laughs> Logan's like, she's going through it. She's in her military <laughs> way. <laughs> yes, let's go, Logan. Oh, my God. Stop encouraging coming, me. Coming out. I love it. Uh, Trilla just says, I, mean, I love crazy. It's a very unique song. Okay. I mean, it's definitely one of the noisier songs, but I like that because yeah. of it so yeah. that's fair okay well this next god seven song oh. is breathe oh no oh no what well, are you gonna <laughs> you know tell me about, about this one Therese? this is my favorite you know god seven song. Say? <laughs> this is my god se- favorite god seven song <laughs> oh Wait, what was that? it is can so hard that? can you say that again Therese? what'd you say what'd you Hold say on. i need to I need Hold on. one more time i think you could say it no i can't say it i can't oh. say it because the last song is probably my favorite <laughs> Jesus Christ, 
I'll say you this think is I'm my bad. Yes. You think I'm yeah, bad? Is... All right. Uh, I don't hear shit. Okay. Uh, I... <laughs> and what's good about this? Uh, so we're okay. we're in a new era. I'm sure you've noticed, but yes, um, I have noticed. Yeah. They have finally broken from the JYP dungeon. <laughs> oh, so this like, is they're, so. They're so now by the moon producing... was the last the last one of the JYP. No, no, like... no, no. No, oh. they're still technically under JYP. This was definitely a portion of time when they were not as promoted by JYP. Mm. But um, they're, you know, because they're not as promoted, they're also mm -hmm. not as supervised. <laughs> so, <laughs> like, we're seeing a lot more music. We saw it with you calling my name, and um, we're seeing a lot more music made by them, specifically. Oh, and oh, I think oh, there was oh. a portion, there was, like, some period of time when JYP came out and said he's like, yeah, I'm just gonna let JB take care of the songwriting or like take care of. I'm gonna let the members work on. I'm gonna let him cook. Because, I'm gonna let him yeah, cook finally. I don't. They don't need me anymore. They're they've graduated. Um, Good. So thank God. Yeah. So we're in the graduation. For me, okay. this is like the this is like their ma their master's thesis. This one and the next one. Um, and this one was written by Young Jay, oh. uh, who Shout yeah outs. he's. He's also a very good songwriter. Um, I should give him more credit because a lot of them do uh, their own work, and Young Jay is pretty up there for me. Um, oh, okay. But yeah, Big it's salutes. a really good one. You're gonna love it. All right, uh, but we'll get in a couple comments and then we'll jump into the song. Uh, Logan says, "I feel like Breathe" is one of their more underrated songs. Um, Trillo says, uh, "I'm more into this song." that comes after but breathe is so good and funky right. uh jyp has given up at this time oh uh, yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah but um yeah breath and the next one after this are on the same album breath was the oh. pre-release so perfect all right let's get into breath very excited Oh, okay. Mm. Okay. That's right. Tender lights on, body covered. You got, you got on the A little bit of whistle, all right. That's cool.
Oh, that was cool. I forgot about that Trillo. <laughs> I need to know if the rest of this album sounds like this because it's great. Oh, it's good. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, I'd okay. say I'd say yeah. They, they they're pretty good at. They're one of the groups that makes the more cohesive albums as of late. Okay. Um, it's. <laughs> I don't. I don't have the words. You're like, really at a loss so for words good. tonight. I think. I think they. I think JB took the words out of your mouth. You I know? feel like they're so good at expressing themselves already. I don't need to say anything. <laughs> I love I have a huge um bias towards whistle songs <laughs> like DNA that, is one of my favorite BTS yeah, songs yeah and I I love adding a little whistle in a song especially if it's in the chorus and it might be like it might be because I'm just jealous because I can't whistle but <laughs> but gonna, um, that's what I'm gonna do I'm not gonna tease you guys with the rest of the no whistle way. I I think it's really a beautiful song and it's mostly in the atmosphere and like the, the all the little runs in the back and then yeah. the way that in a way the chorus is also kind of not a run but it's 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 like a shout which it, it is, is a shout, a shout. saying yeah. like yeah you give me breath or something and um god it's just so good <laughs> i would agree uh, uh Trillo says Young Jay's first title track. That is very cool. Shout out to Young Jay. He um, composed that super well. Um, mm -hmm. I will say this plays to the strengths that I already love, which is I'm a huge jazz fan. So I feel like this, the way that they phrase the piano is very like jazz oriented. Um, uh, I think I'll, from what I've gathered, a lot of like producers that do stuff within K-pop and especially obviously being so close to Japan, like city pop must be such a large genre, like over in in the East. Um, so I love that. I think it's great. I, I find new I think I find new city pop artists all the time and I always wind up throwing them into my playlist. So uh, I love that this has just kind of like that really interesting like I, I would assume it's probably like my major it's probably like major minor seventh chords, which is like for all you music nerds out there that's like the typical jazz courting um mm -hmm. so i love that and i think it really i think any song that kind of incorporates jazz in a unique way always grabs my attention um i will agree with you Therese. The, the whistling on this song is really like it's got a it's got a real like earworm quality to it again mm -hmm. uh and i think that i'm just gonna be thinking about the song until I listen to it again, and then I'm gonna be like, yeah. okay, that's the song that I've been that I've been trying to look for. Um, yeah, but I love that um, the counterplay between the rapping was really sick too. I like that they traded off verses. That was really sick. Um, I believe it was it was Bam Bam, right? And was it Mark? Uh, Bam Bam, Mark, and Jackson. They all... Okay, so well, Bam, I don't Mark, know which particular part you're mentioning, but. <laughs> Yeah, well, I was. I think it was the second verse. So if if somebody wants oh, to let me so know, probably who it was. Jackson. And, it was it was maybe uh, Jack. I don't know who had the like the swoopy blonde hair, and yeah. like the. I would assume it's probably. If I had to guess, I think it's Jackson and Bam Bam. But that's that's my guess. So somebody wants to let me know in the chat. Um, but I really enjoyed the counterplay between them. I thought that's. I I feel like they've had moments like that, but this one felt the most like. I want to say sincere because that's not the right adjective I'm trying to find, but I feel like there's, it felt like there was a purpose to having them kind of trade off in that way. So I, I love mm -hmm. the necessity of writing the, the, the sort of lyr lyricism in that way. Um, the chorus definitely has like a great hook to it. I think it's definitely memorable. Um, it ropes you in pretty immediately again with that sort of whistle element. I feel like that ultimately just gives you the vibes um but yeah this was a great this is another great one i could see why people would really enjoy this one if this is like one of your favorite god seven songs i could totally see why think, this being a good good favorite yeah 
I think the difference is you can tell how happy they are in this one. Yeah, they seemed way happier. <laughs> and yeah. then, like, pretty recently after this, I think, they announced they were going to leave the company. <laughs> but we still have another title track to go through. They're still under JYP at this point. Oh, okay. But they so have the... a lot more freedom, and it's obvious. Yeah. Um, so the chains, I, I really... The chains have been loosened. Yeah, yeah. And I think they... Never should have been there in the first place. <laughs> okay. But yeah, I want to continue making music. Trilla, for a very long Trilla time. did confirm uh, the strawberry blonde is Jackson, and then obviously, yes, yes, totally. <laughs> Shout out to Jackson, crushed it, crushed the verses. Mm -hmm. um, all right, well, I think Therese, we're gonna move on to the next one, which is going to be last piece. Yeah, this, this is... was on the same album. This one was written by JB. I love the song. <laughs> I'm not going to say it's my favorite song, though. <laughs> Even don't though lie. they're all my favorite songs. Don't lie to me, Therese. I'm going to see right through no, it. No. So, <laughs> All right. Let's I... get into it. <laughs> yeah. Let's just get into it. Just like I'm, I pick a rapper as a bias every time. I know your shit, Therese. Oh, Bam Bam's popping off. This is so sick. They're cutting between the members like that. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Okay, that was clean. No, 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 I kind of had a feeling. Circle. You're the missing recipe. 
complete my circle. The most important last piece. You know what? That's cool. I love the song. Like that to me is a classic JB beat. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I can pick a style out so much better now. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, he's your husband, so I get it. Um, you know, you just have to know. You know, maybe you were in the beat room uh... at the same time. Yeah. Um. Anyway, I like this song a lot. Uh, I was very surprised that they incorporated like a little bit of like, like hard rock metal, low metal. Which I was surprised. I didn't. I like that was gonna be that would have been la like if I had a bingo card for God Seven, I would not put that on the bingo card for God but Seven. What, but what parts would be the metal parts? Because if you just mean real instruments, <laughs> well, I mean like electric guitar. Like I feel like a lot of that mm. like down tuned sort of stuff, especially like more in that like like that last part of the the chorus. Like it it had more of a distorted guitar, like heavier sound that. I think I would associate with more of a like rock, heavier rock or like mm. kind of vibe. So I, and I kind of like the counter. I, I was a little shocked at it at first. I didn't know if it really kind of fit with the song, but then once that second, like the second wind came around, then I was like, okay, I get it. Like it makes, it started to piece together a little bit more. I think it was mainly because like, I think because mainly because the rest of the song, especially the verses and the choruses are very like bump, 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 bump. Like it's got that real kind of like mm -hmm. the way that the synths swell, the way that the rhythm kind of works with the song antiquates more to that sort of like synthy pop thing that they do really well. Um, but and like obviously the R&B elements as well. But um, but yeah, the like the rock guitar parts i was not really kind of expecting that and i think it really i think it broke up the song in a unique way where i think if they didn't have it in or they didn't have like more of a kind of um if they didn't have more of a focal point to that part of the song then i think it would be a little bit i don't think it would have as much contrast or much definition right and then gives you more appreciation for the verses and the way that like the song is kind of structured out so i gotta give a lot of props to jb for putting that together because i think it does i do i do think it makes that much of a difference in the song structure um to the point where i feel like without it it might not have seen as one of my favorite got seven songs where i feel like this one yeah. is a little bit more i feel like it's more I, I feel like it adds a lot more definition to the track otherwise i would probably put this up there with some of those some of the better songs that we've heard tonight for sure Ooh, I like that. That's good. Okay. I, when it, it first came out, um, I remember a lot of the people I were talking to were bigger on breath than they were on this one. And I think it, That's it's probably the, the it's jarring when you get it into yeah. the hard rock area area. But I think it also, like you said, it switches it up a lot and it makes it more than just the song that it could have been. It makes it more memorable. It makes it an extra yeah. song. Yeah. Um, I, yeah, I really like this song. Um, I really like this whole album. Uh, like, all of the members uh, each made a song for this album. And oh. they still have some other... And this has been the same for the past couple songs. Or the cap past couple albums, I want to say. <laughs> um, <Yeah. laughs> you Calling My Name. No, I don't remember specifically. But they're, they're doing a lot of uh, participation at this point. So yeah. I will say it's nice to I will say that I noticed that like the way that the songs are kind of broken up structurally especially not only in like the musicality portion of it but I also say like like each member individually I feel like gets more time in the song which is really nice and I think I picked Ooh. up on that I picked up on that pretty more currently yeah. I think with like the more current songs that we've listened to like like the it was good like i think the structure is good but like this one i felt like there was more individuality in terms of like each member where you're like oh, okay like mm -hmm. i hear this person or ah okay this is this part or oh wow like you know jackson's mm -hmm. doing this part like it, it gives me that sort of mentality that 
and maybe I'm jumping a little bit ahead, but it, I would I would assume that JB, in terms of him being kind of more the front runner in terms of producing the group. Um, oh, by the way, he is the leader of the group. I don't know. And if he also is a, yeah, and he's yeah. also the leader. I think for me, it's like, from what I can gather is he's like, obviously, A, the leader. B, I think he also like understand where people where the rest of the members group strengths and weaknesses are in the song and i think he's at least from my perspective i think he's doing his best to try to highlight whether it's going to be giving you better vocal lines or like giving you more lines and then also like if you're a good dancer it's like being able to match that choreo with like song beats in the in the song i i thought mm-hmm. that was really cool so that was something i picked up on i'm curious if whether or not that will carry over into some of the new the newer quote unquote got seven stuff um post jyp but i'm sure i'll find out mo- moments from now um but yeah it was great this one this one was uh this one i think is a sleeper song if i have to if i had to categorize it mm-hmm. i don't think that a lot of people i don't think that from what i could gather i don't feel like this is a very i feel like this was a very divisive song given the time frame um but i think a lot of people may have come around to it that's my that would be my understanding of it if they listen know. to it more, I think they would. <laughs> okay. I, 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 I Yeah, I love the song. I I did listen to it more than Breath, I think. Okay. But I think Breath held out longer for me. So, like, okay. I don't come back to this one as much as I come back to Breath. But That's fair. But there's something to be said about how I can physically record where I was throughout the pandemic with GOT7. Like, before the pandemic, I was listening to you calling my name and losing my mind. And... <laughs> Then during the pandemic, I was listening to Die and Losing My Mind. And that's... <laughs> but they each have, like, each of those albums, for some reason, has, like, it defined that period for me. Because I was, I was one, I was really into them, and I was getting into a lot of their variety and stuff, too. But also, like, they kind of matched the vibe of the world. Sure. In a way. Because, like, Aura was kind of really dark, but it was also really groovy. It was very much a, like, listen-at-home sort of album. And then, mm. like, uh, this was a whole-ass party. And I remember this yeah. was... Uh, <laughs> the, I remember I lost my job around the time this album came out. Yeah. It was a party for me, because I got to move <laughs> in with my best friend, Hana. And <laughs> uh. then she she got into God 7. Not really. She doesn't like K-pop, but <laughs> she likes to listen to me talk about it, which is nice. <laughs> I'm glad she showed up for a little bit. I don't know if she's still here or not, but shout out to Yeah, Hannah, drop a drop an U in the chat if you're here. <laughs> oh God. <All> right. um, <laughs> but, <laughs> but I yeah, this is this is one that has a special place in my heart because of its timing. Um and then of course the next ones you'll see are even later or mo- more recent. Okay uh getting into some comments real quick and we'll hop into the next one uh chilla says uh when they did out at the award show uh all the agassi were like closed their mouth um, was that when and, they uh they like I don't went know. off script to show that they were performing live or something <laughs> i i can't oh, remember but i remember the sick. award show that was their award show performance was incredible like Okay, we'll have to oh. we'll have to throw it on the list of live yeah. <laughs> live things we'll have to watch. Um, Trilla also says a uh, choreo of last piece is fire. Can't agree with that. I really enjoyed the choreo of this song too. Uh, Shay says, uh, uh, "Young <laughs> Jin, Young, Jin Young, I can't even speak Jin Young." <laughs> um, and then also said, "Thank you, JB, for the line distribution." Um, and then obviously, uh, Trilla says, "Thank you, JB, for giving us some Got Seven Rock vibes. Love that." Uh, Shay says, Young Jay was injured during this time. Uh, that's why he only showed up at the last part. Did not know that. Okay. That's yeah, you, interesting. Yeah, you would hear him in the chorus when he'd be like, you know what? <laughs> yeah, I did. Yeah, you know But what, there'd be yeah. other people dancing. Oh. Uh, and then uh, Joe says, I was on the floor for the first time I listened to this. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and then poor young Jay agreed. Uh, Trilla also, also said it loved Breed because it was so... Uh, it so brought happy, um, but bright JB and happy. bright and but happy. JB sorry. had me with the but rock. JB had the rock and the last piece fire. Uh, no, they did out and then left JYP three like Slayer. Oh wow! Oh, like when they were accepting oh, their award, they're like, <laughs> like See out. You later. We're out. 
Yeah. Okay. Well, sorry. Yeah. That was a, shouldn't have shouldn't have done that. Um. Anyway, <laughs> we're gonna move on okay, to the so, next one. Yeah. This is now Seven they're Encore. out. They're out. They they're out. They left JYP. Everyone thought that they disbanded because at this point, no other K-pop group had come together, having all left the company. There have been instances where K-pop groups, like some members would leave the company and then they would still join in for promotions, but mm -hmm. all seven of them left. So everyone was huh. like, what the fuck what does the that fuck? mean? Yeah. Like, what? Uh, do we no longer have a GOT7 or oh, are they no. going to promote under a different name? Like, And this was kind of their drop to be like, hey, hey we're, we're back. not gone. We here. And it was pretty legendary that they actually oh yeah jin young composed this song hey, yo. and uh Shout they out. filmed this in jackson wang's studio because jackson wang had his own company at the time so does he not have they... his own company now oh he does but oh, this okay. is okay they <laughs> he had say. already been established prior to uh, this uh, okay. song. that's what i thought okay oh Her... yeah all right logan says point. time for tears uh and then uh Jill <laughs> said no tissue time <laughs> <laughs> um, everybody keeps saying Jin Young loves bringing us pain. Oh boy! Uh, and then Shay, get into Shay's comment real quick. Uh, out performs uh, performance was so iconic because they were literally out of the company <laughs> the weeks mm -hmm. after. Love that. That's a power move. If, if that's a you know. What is the out performance? Is this a song? Out. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, okay. let's get into encore. Let us know if it's a song. Oh, yeah, it is a song. It was part of the... Okay, yeah. Ooh, that minor. Minor tone. Again. Yeah. <웃음> 네, 우리 팬분들 놀랐죠? 아, 저희가 준비한 선물 어때요? 
네, 저희가 다른 거보다도 저희의 마음을 노래로 이렇게 전하고 싶었어 가지고 여러분들한테 그죠? 그죠 여러분. 네, 네, 그리고 네. 저희가 팬분들이랑 약속을 해서 저희 약속을 지키려고 했습니다. 네. 네, 네 아... 여러분 잊지 않았죠? 프로미스. 우리와 팬분들은 뭐다? 아! 네, 저희는 언제나 여러분을 위한 앙코를 계속 할 거니까 항상 함께해요, 여러분들. 네. 하루 루 o 모 n 스 e 트 I'm just kidding. Bam bam got a bam bam. They look like fun. They look like a fun group to see live. Listen, we called the A.T.'s comeback, so... Oh! I'm just saying. Please, uh, we, we God 7! We, we called the God 7 comeback on here? I mean, someone said earlier that JY, or JJ Project was going to get out around the same time this year, right? No. Maybe next... Wait, no! Maybe next this year. upcoming oh year. Yeah, this uh, upcoming year. Yeah. yeah 2024. Um, so... A tour, please? I'll do it. I'll go see JB. I'll document yes. my journey seeing JB. You know we're getting floor seats, right? Or, yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. We're getting okay. barricade. We're, we're barricade. Just prepare prepare to like line up. I'm going to tweet it. I'm going to tweet. I'm going to tweet at JB and be like, yo, fam, can you like. Well, we we're getting we the did, VIP tickets. We we're did getting like three videos about you. Pre sale <laughs> VIP, uh, whatever. Wow, yeah. Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> uh, All right, I'll put my life Save your money. Into it. Right. Yeah, you got it, Therese. Or make friends with their company. I don't know. <laughs> I think we could do that. That seems yeah. Feasible. Let's try that. Um. All right. That was God Seven Encore. Uh. I am not. I. I'm a new Agassi. To be fair, so I feel like this one doesn't have the sentimental value that it should. However, I am a. I am a human with emotions. So I feel like if I had been an Agassi for a while. And I wasn't sure if whether or not their group was going to continue on, and then they dropped this heater track. Then I feel like I would be, I'd be the the waterworks would be happening, you know. The so I, I feel, I feel like I could definitely tell. Like this is what I think I appreciate most about K-pop is like their necessity to really care about their fan base. Like I think there's not to say like any other. Uh, not to say that any other music groups don't do the same thing, but I feel like there's a different level for sure. I think there's a different level. Yeah. A hundred percent. Like there's something about it. That's just like, so like honest about it where they're like, we want to continue to make music for you. We want to continue to do all this stuff because like we love to do it. And like, it seems so honest. And so like, truthful that like i i i think it makes you appreciate i think it makes me appreciate more of what they do as artists right i think it's like i have a newfound respect for them because i'm like you know i'm like yeah they you know like they're a they're a very decently sized like k-pop group like who like why would they care about like the the fan base in that way and that's like i hope that's not a diss but like I, it it seems like something that would be like ancillary to the cause essentially um like they'll make their money regardless they'll make their money regardless I mean, right but yeah. i think but yeah. i think the thing is is like because they like they make a song like this that is like you know in terms of the production mm-hmm. value it's not like any of their other music videos but i think it holds so much more like personal value to people that it's like i can imagine why people might enjoy the song or might have emotional like reaction to it because they're like so invested with got seven they're so receptive of like what they've done or like they've gotten them mm-hmm. through like a difficult time period of their life or like you know they were the, this was their first k-pop group or whatever whatever have you um I, I think that was kind of what i picked out pretty immediately about the song was just like the the necessity to like write it because they care about their fan base and they 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 love them in that way you know what i mean and so like it's it's really it's It's really heartfelt it's really heartfelt Mm -hmm. it's really beautiful and like 
you know, I I I really enjoyed the 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 way that it was uh, produced. I think Jin Young did a fantastic job of like tugging at the heartstrings, like even their little mm-hmm. snippet of them sitting on the couch saying like, "We'll never leave you. We're doing this thing because mm-hmm. we're like." got seven we love you Agassi and then like I was like damn mm-hmm. I'm not I'm a new Agassi <laughs> and I'm starting to I'm starting to you know my chest is starting to tighten you know, I'm starting to feel there's, shit yeah yeah there is uh that little snippet when they started talking it was like oh my gosh my head <laughs> uh, <laughs> like uh, yeah it was pretty loud yeah I will say that yeah the, the, the jump from it, the jump from their song to the actual them talking was yeah high, it was yeah. like crying crying <laughs> jump scare <laughs> but it was a good jump scare it i i will say um hearing this in in the scary times was it made it a little bit extra scary because we knew that they were together we knew that they could make music together that was very relieving but it kind of sounds like a goodbye song like an it, encore. Does, it does yeah it, does, it, it does, sounds it like does. and i think someone in chat said this it was like I, it's comforting but it made me scared what's gonna happen next i'm like yeah that, that's what everyone was thinking they're like is this it is, is this, this the only is thing end the line yeah. you're gonna do yeah. because at this point they all had different companies so they they had their own solo mm-hmm. plans they had things they each wanted to do it's impossible like you see with other groups it's impossible to get three k-pop idols to collaborate together let alone Jesus, seven yeah. Yeah. like oh my god yeah especially when some of them live in america some of them live in thailand some of them live in china like how do you do that everyone's got to meet up in hawaii or something we're on discord <laughs> <laughs> yeah we'll there's gonna be a discord, discord. yeah <laughs> the god seven discord oh, they should yeah. start a podcast oh that'd be fun <laughs> oh that would be sick yeah um jb has his own radio show but uh, not right now but um Anyway, I I think it was a little extra scary hearing this, even though it was very nice, um, and the song is very sweet. I think I Jin Young songs tend to make me cry, and I don't usually like to cry when I'm listening to songs. Oh, I love to cry listening <laughs> so to I music. I don't listen to them often, but I really... He does his job. <laughs> I, he does his job well. I think I'm the opposite. I like... I mean... There is no shortage of me crying on on YouTube no, on no, my no, channel, no. so I yeah no I've music, I've done it, which is crazy because like you th- you think about it, I've done it live. Like cr- people have watched me cry live, <laughs> like in a video. So like wow. that's pretty that's that's pretty that's pretty crazy. I'm not even trying to like make people feel like secondhand embarrassment. It's just like I I feel like I'm such an emotive person that like that to me speaks to me so i i i gotta i i just gotta let it go you know like i think it's like it's almost like this cathartic thing you know you just gotta let it you gotta let it do its thing like even if it's like because you're being honest i feel like that's kind Mm -hmm. of like what i realize is like this song probably doesn't make me cry but i feel like if i was someone that had been listening to god seven for a while then i feel like this would probably make me cry 100 percent like Music a doubt. influences my emotions too much. I don't want to. I don't want to do that. <laughs> I don't want to be sad today. That's that's what What's it that? comes down to. <laughs> I guess, like, but I don't know. But it'll I think make it... me sad. Like this just makes Aww. me sad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry Mostly because... because, like, I don't know when the next time we'll get their album is. I want more. Yeah. We'll put the positive <laughs> but, aff- positive affirmations to it. You know. Yeah. Thankfully, we are on the last song. Thankfully, <laughs> sa- also Thankfully. Sa- sorrowfully. Um, but this is, I'll say it, I'll say it, I'll write it in stone. This is my favorite GOT7 song as of today, December 13th, 2023. Wow. And yes, there's some recency bias, bias, and yes, there's some bias to the fact that we even got another album. <laughs> so, uh, but I think it's a really good one. I think it's really good. And I think the music video is also really good. And they didn't have to be sexy and they didn't have to do like a little sexy dance. It's just a very good song. So everybody yeah. just said cry. Basically the chat just said cry. That's what, that's what I noticed. It's just everybody was, so, <laughs> so, that's all I, if I could sum it up real fast is everybody was really sad though. Uh, Trillo said, uh, hope we get a tour. Hope we get a, uh, God seven world tour in 2025. Or a JJP yeah. tour. Um, okay. Atrilo also said the reason I stayed with God7 is because they don't treat us as fans, but as friends or a part of their family. God7, the I Got7 Agassi bond is just unique. I can 
can can agree i mean like i said everybody that's commented on videos people are in the chat here extremely welcoming so i feel yeah i feel the love so that's good um everybody's saying praying for <laughs> praying for a jjp tour or a god seven tour um all right well and then i guess we'll get into this last one here well i'm excited Yay. this last one is na 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 okay yeah i did it guys <laughs> <laughs> i say words remember all the little bird <laughs> the agassay What's the message? I'm bored. That's what he said. Oh. Damn. Double bass. Oh, yeah. Double bass. 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 Double Is that an actual pe Oh my god, they did get an actual peacock. Holy shit. <laughs> you could just read them. <laughs> yeah, birds. <laughs> Fuck yeah. The way you said that is so funny. Fuck yeah, birds. Yes, I did hear the skirt skirts trees. <laughs> They're important to the plot. Yeah, important to the plot. All right, guys, that was na 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 the latest uh, Got Seven oh. song. I enjoyed this one. This is fun. This is like, this is just a vibe. You know, it's just like really, really catchy, smooth. I I think the 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 way that this song kind of flow it has a great flow to it. I think that is like the one thing that I will take away from God Seven is their like God tier flow. I don't, there's something about their music that is just like like even if you don't like K pop, like I instinctually just am just like like I'm just vibing. I can feel like my body like like actively going into the like head nod like kind of vibe mode. Um and this song does that a hundred percent. Um I'm curious what the rest of the because this was a part of an album, Therese. Is that correct? Yeah, it's okay. a really good album. I'll have to it's give the rest so of the good. album. Listen. Okay, do you have one it's that very, you would recommend like, me listening to off the off this newest album? I'm looking through. It's so hard to okay. give you one. Can you give me top three to listen to? 
top three. Okay, I'll say. I feel like this is a little um, easier. I'll say. Don't leave me alone, which is the last track. Oh, uh, okay. Don't care about me is the second to last track. <laughs> okay, so we're we're hitting the last half. And then. Drive Me to the Moon is the second song. So those are the three I'll wreck. But it's only a six-song album, so you should... It's a whole thing. <laughs> I, gonna, I had yeah. a feeling you were going to say that. So. It's... Oh, God. Now I am actually crying because I'm so sad that Aww. I don't have another music video to show you. This is the end of the road. Uh, oh, my God. This is, yeah, this, this is, is the only it. thing we have from them until they come back next, so... Oh, my God. <laughs> Um, I definitely, uh, love this song. I, it's, there's something that's so sweet about it. Like, oh, yeah. Like, and it's not the overly sweet, like, American candy thing. It's like the Japanese bakery cake kind of sweet. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Um, oh, I, yeah, I yeah. could tell. I could tell, yeah. Yeah, the perfectly, you know, seasoned, Like, just sweet enough. Like, just sweet enough. Just sweet Chef's enough. Kiss. Like, yeah. tastes delicious with coffee or whatever drinks. <laughs> <laughs> Tea. Um, and then when they get into the bridge, I had never placed it before, but there's um, these little plunks in the background that sing yes. like a, a music box. Yeah, oh, that was great. Oh, man. I'm going to re-listen to this album now because it's got me all in my feels. <laughs> Obviously, like I said, each album is like a different portion of my time post-COVID or like yeah. during COVID. And this one okay. was definitely a, a good time. I finally found the job I'm in now doing amazing things um and i'm happier than ever honestly <laughs> like and now I'll you're never doing this that. too this is great now i'm doing this now i'm at yeah. brandon actually yeah. this album came out like when i was thinking about meeting uh some dude in new york and getting on his <laughs> youtube channel to react to things no I'm just you did not this is not <laughs> no. that's not not what happened <laughs> not what happened but. actually <laughs> I actually didn't yeah. know anything about Therese until we met in person. So, oh my God, oh, no. Logan's like you're married to an army. <laughs> well, it's just so hard yeah. when my husband is out in war and I'm home, and I all I can do is play modded Skyrim and decorate a Christmas tree all by my lonesome. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why she came on here. That's why you know I respect it. <laughs> Uh, oh man well now i can finally pick my favorites i would probably yeah, put you I'd go first put, for sure i probably would say for me hmm that's tough that is really did tough, you pick actually. anything from the last uh videos are you gonna do them all at once or are you gonna say just for today <laughs> i'm just gonna say just for today I, yeah. <laughs> i'm not gonna lie <laughs> part two i think <laughs> is a blur to me so i barely remember <laughs> what i could you remember look though. <laughs> I remember look. Yeah, look was great. That that's a top song. Um mm -hmm. I would say out of today, I I would give an honorable mention to tomorrow today. I feel like I, I don't know if I really could put just two or J the J JJP project together, just only because I feel like those are like groups and not like yeah. God Seven. Yeah. But I, I'll give an honorable mention to Just Two and JJ Project because I think those songs were both really great. Um, and yeah. I will definitely be giving those some love. But I would say out of the title songs, oh boy, um, I would say Lullaby. I think is probably probably still my favorite one. I enjoyed that one a ton. That's the one that's like the Dua Lipa type type beat, correct? That's the one you have to listen to in Spanish. <laughs> oh, this Spanish. Oh God, I'm trying to think of the Dua Lipa type one. Oh, that's uh, uh, uh you calling my name? That was it. Yeah, that was. I feel it. like that. I feel like those two, Lullaby and you call, uh, you calling my, you calling my name, are like the tide for number one. Oh yeah, they're the I hot pick, kids. I don't think I could. They're pick, the hot kids in the cafeteria. <laughs> I don't think I could pick. I don't think I could pick one or the other. I. It just depends on how I feel feeling. Um, but mm. I will also say I also enjoyed Last Piece. I think that was another good one. I, I think I enjoyed Out of All of Them. And then I think Nana Na will be my third pick, quote unquote. Ooh, ooh. Ah, 
Oh, this is hard. Um, okay, I know for sure Na 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 is my number one. That I decided that on the fly and in my heart. Um, <laughs> on the fly in my heart. <laughs> True. Okay. I forgot about how good Eclipse was. Eclipse I never is forgot good, about yeah. how good Lullaby was. <laughs> Um, nah, yeah, I was gonna say you never forgot how good that one was. Ooh. Don't lie. If I were to go like off of my Spotify Wrapped, we'll say which one have I listened to the most this year? It would probably be Na Na Na, and then uh, Breath, and then Lullaby. But oh, if I were yeah, if I were to go off of like the most important songs to me, as well as like objectively good songs, Na Na Na, you calling my name. And I'll say lullaby again. Jerlo so said they're all JB songs. <laughs> you know. I was going to say, you we know. know. <laughs> I know. I know. I just think it's funny. That oh, they're all JB songs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I already had a bias to begin with when I didn't even know it is your God 7. It is, it is your I, ult. I chose. So. When I was still getting to know God 7, I would go through the discography and pick my favorite songs, and then I'd be like, huh, there's one common factor in all of these songs. <laughs> this is That's Death true. Soul guy. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Do you have... Okay, so I'll ask chat as well this, but Therese, what, what are your all, what are your all-time... Like, if you had, since obviously I don't know if we would be able to get into B-side songs, what are your Ooh. what are your favorite B-side songs that you feel like I should check out from, like, their whole actually, discography? Yeah, I actually sent you one before. I don't think you ever checked it out, probably because you didn't want to spoil yourself. I didn't, no. There's a song I'm, not a, I'm a spoiler-free type of guy, you know? Yeah. I don't like to... The chat's going like to be real surprised about this one, but there's a song called <laughs> Teenager. <laughs> Oh, you did tell me about this, but I didn't yeah. listen to it. No, I did not. No, I'll um, give it a listen now. Yeah, that's another JB <laughs> masterpiece. Of course. Well, not surprised. In, yeah. in its own in its own right, it's also like the way that I got judged for crazy. I'd say that is a weird song. Like generally, that is a weird song, but it's so good. Um, someone said Paige. That's a good one. Oh, Ooh, it's been okay. a while since I've listened to Paige. Is that an OG um, OG one? That page is OG? from the uh, Eclipse album. Oh, so okay, so this this thing, okay. Yeah. Um, this chapter, sorry. I'd say for sure teenager, and I'd say for sure crazy, and I'm gonna try and do one that isn't JB. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, gonna tough. really try to be here a while. I think Aura is also a really good one, um, Ooh, and that okay. one is right before Crazy. That one was written by Young J. Um, ah, which chef. or I didn't mention his uh, writer tag, but he goes by producer Ars A R S. So um, if you see that on the credits, that's Young J. And okay. yeah, so teenager. Uh, yeah, and then just go through the Die album. <laughs> You're gonna have a great time. <laughs> okay. Uh, Trillo says, uh, "Don't leave me alone." Was my most listened to God Seven song of the year. Uh, also confirmed page. Uh, Shay says, "Runaway" is my top B side of God Seven's discography. Okay, I'll mm -hmm. have to check that one out. Trillo also confirmed page. Teenager Aura, Poison, Runaway, and Come On are their favorite. Um, and then Shay also confirmed Teenager Fire. Agreed. Uh, Logan said I should check out My Youth, which is Jin Young's uh, solo song. Uh, makes me cry every time. Okay, I'm going to have to do that. I don't know if I'll personally cry, but I'll do my best. <laughs> um, uh, Jarlow says Paige is the queen. Uh, oh. Crash crash and burn and wave. Okay, cool. I'll have to check those out. I'll, I'll make sure to... In fact, you know what I'm going to do right now? Just I'm listen gonna, to the albums. <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to screen cap. I'm going to screen cap. I mentioned, this, this Trilla, one you probably remember, I chat. mentioned the 7 for 7 album last time. I was like, oh, this this is a good album. This is my favorite album of God 7. Okay, cool. I have it all saved here. I screen, I screen capped it so I don't lose it. Um, All right, well. That can I I feel Therese is gonna be real. I feel like Therese is real emotional because this is our last God <laughs> Seven video. Uh, I just want to give, uh, which she did not ask me to do, but I'm gonna give her a shout. Um, 
obviously Ther- having Therese on as the second host, and obviously a- Alex is included in this as well, but having them both on and really kind of like allowing me to jump into K-pop in such a a way that I don't feel like I would have been introduced in this way has been such a fun experience. And um, I feel like I get more acquainted with Therese and get, obviously I know Alex very well and I've known him for years, but like to me, it's like, I love being able to spend time with my friends and get to learn more about like why they love certain genres and like why people love certain bands or like all that sort of thing. So to me it's like this is this has always been kind of like a monumental thing i've always wanted to take on so i can't i couldn't have gotten two better co-hosts honestly so i I gotta give them a lot of love because truly it's it's been a it's been a real pleasure so uh i'm excited to see what we have going on for 2024 don't worry guys we may have one more (laughs) video before the year's over with you know then i'll get real sentimental but I feel like I wanted to give to Therese the sign off she deserves in this video. So um, oh, she worked <laughs> she worked really hard on this. So um, seriously, uh, she she did a fantastic job. And I honestly wouldn't have been able to come through God 7 <laughs> otherwise. So thank you for that. And thank you, everyone in chat. Yeah. You guys have been amazing. Um, I, I Like I said, I don't. It, there would have been no way that I would have been able to know <laughs> what to do or anything. So I appreciate everybody taking the time to, to give me some good feedback and let me know what's good. Like, I love that. I want to so. thank you for obviously oh. asking me on here. This is definitely filling a, a like hole in my heart for people that don't want to just watch music videos with me. Like, <laughs> like it's not their every morning of their day. I don't understand. That's true. Um, That's me. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, uh, I get up and watch an MV every day. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, honestly. True, Um, facts. You're definitely seeing a new side of me this time. I I let it all loose. So You did let it all loose on this one. God, this is going to be embarrassing in like a couple years. (laughs) Listen, you don't have to tell me. As someone who's been doing this shit for years. Yeah, you know it, yeah. I know it embarrassing. There's a lot of embarrassing stuff on here that people will come through, I'm sure. Thank you. Thank you for dealing with the mess. Uh, I oh, did turn my fan off. I'm not, well, me being a mess. I'm, I oh, turned no, the fan off. I'm not, I've I'm looked not way sweating worse. anymore. <laughs> I looked way worse. Don't worry. I've. Uh, <laughs> you can go back and look. There are some videos <laughs> where I've looked real bad. So <laughs> this is not but, bad at all. So oh, you're holding I, your no, composure wanna, very well. <laughs> let, me, let me finish. Let me finish. <laughs> okay. I'll let you wanna, finish. Yeah. <laughs> I'll let you cook, Therese. Okay. Yeah. I want to thank you for uh, mostly like the chat and everyone that, has been watching the got seven videos obviously like i we're not making these to go viral we're not making these to make money we're just making them because they're Wait, fun what? and we <laughs> just kidding. Wait, oh, what i have five dollars <laughs> oh shit <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> no um but we we truly just make this because we want to share more music with everyone and yeah it, it truly is all about the music every time people talk about k-pop and they don't understand it's always about the music. <laughs> For me, yeah, I would agree. And it's been, like I said, been such a cool experience um, finding out why people love groups and why they're so, like, adamant about it. It's so crazy to me. Like, I'm so adamant about the bands that I love. So, like, it to me is such a, like, refreshing feeling that, like, people have that sort of love and admiration for the groups that they support. So, big kudos to you for supporting got seven and other groups that you obviously love so let us know who you'd love us to tackle next Mm -hmm. uh more preferably in the new year um i know we probably plan on doing maybe one more stream before the year's over with um i am going on vacation so i uh will be taking a break for a little bit from doing the live stuff but uh there will be plenty of videos coming out, so don't worry. You'll you'll get you'll get your fuel <laughs> to the fire. I do plan on doing a live stream of K-pop picks for this year, or my personal picks for this year. Uh, I don't know whether or not I will be having Therese and Alex on. This might just be a solo endeavor, but maybe they'll come on and give their picks for this year. Who knows? Uh, we'll find out. But uh, I am definitely going to be doing that for myself because I feel like I need to pay. B- not that I don't need to pay the K-pop community any respect. You guys have earned that, certainly. But 
I want to be able to give my take on some of the albums, especially coming into it like mid season, roughly. So uh, very excited. Um, but yeah. Uh, also, um, what else? Kim Trace. Yotoni uh, mentioned in chat, and I didn't get to it, but the AAA Awards are tonight, the Asia yes. Artist Awards. I did see um, that. Shout out to I'm glad that they reminded me because I definitely want to watch. I've been watching all the award <laughs> shows this year. It's I have been not, a so. time. <laughs> oh, yes, it has been a time. Yes. Yeah. Well, um, I'm excited. Um, let's see just some other comments real quick. Um, let's see. We got uh, 7 for 7 is my favorite album. Uh, Teresa is oh. going going to go on it. <laughs> Logan said, <laughs> Logan is great. I love this. Uh, after this, Teresa is going to go on a binge of JB fan cams. <laughs> Uh, and then uh, missing got seven hours now. Um, Honestly. Uh, just don't forget to send him a care package. Uh, Trillo says, uh, thank you for loving God seven. So happy you could do the, you could do this together. Thank you so much Trillo for joining and shout outs to everybody. Big, big love. Um, uh, Logan says, and Jin Young. Uh, oh, Trillo I think that was when I said K-pop is all about the music and Jin Young. <laughs> oh yeah, that's fair. Fair. Actually facts. Logan spin facts. Uh, Trillo says, uh, Ace, uh, I'm here for GOT7, but if we get Ace, I'll be here again. Uh, Logan said, uh, NCT. Um, Kim uh, Kim says, uh, I'll be waiting for Dreamcatcher Shatter performance. Hell yeah. Love Dreamcatcher. Big salutes. Um, and then Trillo says, going to bed. <laughs> oh, my God. Holy shit. Trillo, thank you so much for staying up. I... Thank you. <laughs> oh, my God. You should, we go, you should truly have would not have... <laughs> We truly would not have as much context without you. Yes, thank, so thank you. you, thank you so much. Your your lack of sleep saved us, so thank you. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's what we have planned. Like I said, uh, for the rest of this year, and we do plan on tackling some smaller groups. I know from what I've heard, January is a little bit slower in terms of K-pop. January, February, like winter months, are usually a little bit slower times. So. Unless you're new jeans and drop ditto, but that's <laughs> unless you're yeah. Unless you're new jeans, then yeah. Hey, listen, I'll take a new new jeans track any day. But <laughs> uh, yeah, Kim. Yes, Alex is on break. Uh, he will be back, possibly for a live. Uh, so the next live maybe. Uh, you're bo he he's a busy boy. So we'll see. Um. Trilla says, you're welcome. Always forgot someone. That's amazing. Well, get a good night's sleep. <laughs> that's, what, that's what we want next. Um, but very excited. Thank you so much. Um, like I said, we have uh, we have a couple more to do for this, this the rest of this year, um, which isn't much longer. And then we'll be getting into some new groups. And uh, once the new year comes around, I think the the other group that I wasn't thinking of that I missed out on last time, Therese, when we were talking about this on Monday, um, I think Itzy has a new album, a Japanese release that's coming out in January. Oh, so I okay, was okay. like, that was that was the one. So maybe we'll do that. If we can figure out how to watch Japanese music on stream, that'd be great. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much for hanging out. If you do like this, make sure to follow. That's the best way to know when we go live, do all this sort of stuff. So it would be greatly appreciated if you click the follow here on Twitch. Uh, if you are watching this on YouTube, make sure to subscribe. Hit that thumbs up. As I mentioned, the 5K thing is still on. We, we're we gunning yeah. towards 5K. So if you want to see the live stages, if you want to see the fan cam videos, if you want to see other dumb shit that we're probably going to do, because, uh, you know, I we have I have no bound. I specifically do not have any more boundaries doing this. So <laughs> throw all the shit at me. If we get to 5K, that's what's going to happen. So come hang out. Would love us to get to 5K. And huge thanks to the guys. If God you made it all the way to the end, drop a little baby bird emoji in the comments. Ooh, let's go, baby. The baby I can You guys you. are the lifers. Yeah, you're the lifers for real. Thank you so <laughs> much for hanging out. I appreciate the time. And let's let's give a round of applause to Therese. Shout outs to Therese. No, a round of applause to Woo! you. Therese. This is for you, Brandon. And the Agassiz. Wait, <laughs> uh, All right, guys. I'm have a good night. my mother. <laughs>